Cheers. Cheers, gentlemen. It's that day. It is the day of the 420. And I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people smoking today. And there's a lot of people that are going to get smoked. You feel me? There's a lot of them that are going to get smoked. This card is nuts. It's going to be a nail biter. I hope I got your popcorn, your shitting pants. And I hope you've already clipped these things because they're going to be. You're going to be mowing down. This card is one of the best cards that's been put together in recent history. Right at the top, you see an insane main card event here tonight. Riz versus Doom. The Ghost Sin versus the Cold Sorceress. This duel has never happened. In DFC history. We don't know how this is going to go. Sometimes you see the same people. You see the same people when you're moving up and down the ranks and jockeying for that title shot. Sometimes you'll see the same people. But this one, these two people have never met inside the DFC arena. And this is, that's going to be an interesting duel, dude. Uh, you know, the, the Ghost Sin versus versus the Blizz Sorceress. I'm actually not even sure how I would, what I would place on that one. Like, who would win? The Doombringer hits extremely hard, and it is, uh, it's, it's very difficult for a Sin to stack up the amount of cold resist that they might need. But you never know. Riz is a different kind of Sin. He's a ghost. Focusing primarily on hunting people down, which he is extremely good at catching them and whirlwinding them to death. That is going to be quite a match. And speaking of quite a match, look at the co-main event we've got here tonight. we got Joby in the house. And man, that one's going to be a doozy. It's, it's going to be nuts. And by the way, Wait for us. Is this, is this going to pop up? Are we going to get the notification? Are we getting are we getting slowed? Are we getting slow? What the hell's going on? See, I'm not sure what the heck's up here. If we're ever going to the spaceship has been dormant for a week. But I just want to say, Inso, I see that God tier membership, dude. I see you. We're, 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 I'm going to have to go kick some shit around in the spaceship. I'm not sure why that's not popping up. It's, But I want to give you a big cheers for that, man. That's God tier, bro. Two cheers for Inso. Tip them back, boys. The true MVP of most events that we put on and most bottle of, bottles of whiskey that we have, that we've ever purchased. True MVP right there. Yeah, yeah. Riz is very, very fast, very skillful player. He certainly is, man. Uh, that's why I'm a little worried for Doom, but I'm also a little worried for Riz, man. Those blizzes, they hurt. It don't take much. The Sin does have Claw Block. You know, there's a lot of tools that the Sin has at her disposal, which could be very interesting to see how much they pay off. I'm not really sure how it's going to go, but I'm really excited about it, and I hope we get to see it tonight. It'll probably be a little later. I think Doom gets out of work a little later on Thursday, so... Uh, yeah, but it'll be very cool to see. Um, yeah, yeah. Gosh, I would... If if I was betting on this one, I wouldn't even I wouldn't feel comfortable either way. Like my gut tells me to bet on Riz, but I've seen Doom Duel man, and he's a different kind of guy to catch. Like he's he's a different kind of guy to catch. 
I watched Joby beat him, and I, I swear he got lucky a couple times catching him. Joby's always ready, though. If you make a bad stomp with Joby, he's always ready. He's going to smack you. Uh, Doom did that a couple of times. But, uh, man, uh, aside from that, Doom is just so good. He's so good at setting those traps and getting out of there, dude, and you never touch him. Like, he, he gets in, gets out, and you never touch him. It's, he's quick. Oh, for sure. I, I certainly want to see that, dude. I certainly want to see it from Riz, Riz's point of view. That'd be cool. I hope, he's, I hope he streams it. I hope we get to see it tonight. But you know what I'm really confident we might see tonight here is the contest for the top din, boys. This this is actual top din spot on the line. Din v. Din, Cooley v. Joby. Joby has been doing phenomenally well in the DFC as of as of recently. Uh, like let's let's check this out. Let's uh let's look at Joby's record here real quick in the last 100 days. This is all wins. All wins, six straight victories, no defeats. Undefeated. This is this is the level you have to be on to challenge for the top den and Joby is finally there. You know, I remember the days he would call me out from the bottom of the ranks in the DFC, and I told him, you got to level up, man. you got to prove yourself. And uh, I, th I think he's, he's probably there. He's almost there. But to be honest, all right, Joby's coming for that top din spot, and he is going to learn today that it don't come cheap. It's going to be... Could be a rude awakening for him. But I, I haven't decided. I might I might be I might be nice and just give it to him because the last time that I beat Joby Din V Din, he quit and sold all of his stuff. We we ended his career last time we did that. It was We were level 30. We were just young pups in this game, and he got one tapped just about four times in a row. That is rough. That is rough. So I don't want to see that happen. My, Joby's my boy. I don't want to see that happen. Maybe I'll just. Maybe I'll just. I'll let. Maybe I'll let him have it. I don't know. It, it just all depends. It just all depends. But it, but if he does. If he does win it, just know I let him have it because I felt bad for him. I didn't want him to quit. All right? I just want you to know. Sometimes sometimes I have a heart. It's buried down there somewhere deep. And it's very small. Very small target. Hell yeah, abrasive. Big puff to that, bro. Speaking of abrasive... Abrasive also on the card tonight. Hopefully we get to see that, man. I hope uh, I hope you're able to link up with P-Money because that looks like a fun duel, dude. Zon v. Sin. Another one that I honestly wouldn't know how to call. Uh, wouldn't know how to call that one. P-Money is an extremely good Zon. Sins typically pose a problem to Zons, but P-Money is... He's, one of the, he's the top Zon, man. He's the top Zon, and it's not just because... It's not just because Zons aren't played much in the DFC. This guy's got one of those, he's got one of those old school Zon styles. You know, he's he's got that the capability to fight at close range, chuck those jabs with deadly accuracy. And it's magnificent to watch. So I'm curious to see if he's going to if he's gonna pose a threat to abrasive a party if it or if it will be the other way around. Yeah, yeah, these are on non-ladder. And then we've got Duke and Brand, man. These guys jockeying, jockeying their way up the, the ranks of the DFC. Duke off of a hot win last week on his Barb. And he's back on it this week. Barb v. Fire Sork. That should be a fun one, man. That should be, that should be interesting. Now, even if the Fire Sorceress is ES, I do believe this is an ES Fire Sorceress. Uh, the barb can actually hit so hard that it can break that ES pretty quick. Uh, it can break the ES pretty quick, but, you know, even in my days of running an Immortal Sorceress, believe it or not, I would struggle with barbs a lot. They hit hard. When they get you low, they get you low. You're, you're done. There's no, there's no sandbag in it. So I think if Duke can catch him tonight, if Duke's on his game, Duke might have this. 
but you never know what Brand's gonna bring to the table, dude. He's got a nasty fire sorceress. He's really good with it. Oh, GG, and so. Oh, look at that. 50 bucks for the winner of Top Din Duel. All right. Now that is something. I'll let you know, brother. I'll let you know. Big cheers to that, man. Big cheers to that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm going to thank you now because it'll probably be me. You know? Like, it'll... Hate to brag, but... <laughs> top Din, boys. And that's going to be a tough title to take. It's going to be a tough one. We got we got some surprises in store for Joby. We got some surprises in store for him. He thinks he thinks he knows what's up, but he don't. He he don't never know. Joby, what are, what are we doing, man? Are we doing VT versus Murderden? I'm on Murderden. I'm on I'm on Murderden. You going VT? It's gonna be a fun duel. Then we've got, uh, right after this, we've got Dio versus Polytheist, a, a duel of the a duel of the top druids in the DFC, just going neck and neck. Windy versus Shaman. That should be fun. Uh, I don't think we've seen that in at least a very long time. Uh, certainly not in recent history, but I'm very curious about that. You want to know another fight I'm super hyped about on this card? Toshank versus NYC Maxim on a Sin v. Sin goat match. Now, as we know, Riz is the goat the top sin in the in the DFC. But there's an argument to be made for both Toshank and NYC Maxim being GOAT status on this character as well. These guys are two legends. NYC Maxim, the grandfather of the kick sin, grandfather of the martial arts sin, and eternally creative sin player and creator. This guy's nuts. He, he's been at the heart of a lot of classic builds for the assassin at the forefront of discoveries in the field uh, of playing on this character. And Toshank is just one of the most aggressive FPK characters, FPK players, really players in general that you'll ever see. One of the most entertaining players to see on just about any class. And it'll be very cool to see how this goes with no mana pool. Uh, this will be the ultimate test. Sin v. Sin, no mana pool with two of the greats going at it. Uh, unless, unless, of course, they decide to waive it. Uh, but, you know, by DFC rules, no man, no mana pools. So uh, if we see them, they waived them. And uh, you know what? If the GOATs decide to waive them, it's probably a good idea for that match. We'll, we'll see. You know, we'll see. I'd be very curious to see it without pools, though. So just see how it goes. I will have a din. Oh, my God. Look. Look, Joby, you can't just... Look, I, I have the right to... See your gear. I can I can do a gear check. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna check on Joby's gear. I'm just gonna gear check him. I'm gonna gear check him so we know what we're up against. I don't know, dude. Root is a different different sorcerer's player, bro. Root is a different sorcerer's player. Root is one of those players that, you know, he's he's lost to Chew 30 before in that matchup, but Root just learns and he takes mental notes of your play style and everything, dude. He's he Root doesn't play the game, he plays his opponent. And he's very good at it. And I think that's probably what happened in the most recent matchup between Chew 30 and Root. Chew 30 is an extremely good sin, dude. An extremely good player in general. Held on to the title for the longest in recent DFC history, ever since the great elite vampire. No one's held on to the title quite so long as Chu 30. A dominant reign at the top, and let's see if Root can pull it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, je parle pas français. Je parle pas canadien. Okay? Je parle pas canadien. Eh? A. A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see. I, I asked Shobi what uh, I, I said. Um, we'll do a gear check. I said I'll do a gear check to see to see what you're on. 
Joby trying to get those surprise wins. You know what? Fuck him. I don't even care. I don't even care what he's on. You just you just bring your din. That being said, lots of good duels tonight, boys. So we're gonna we're gonna jump into it here real soon. I'm gonna check the Discord. Joby, whenever you're ready, bro. <clears throat> I'm ready for you. I was gonna I was gonna get warmed up doing some PVM here, just getting my buttons ready. I actually put together a, uh, a murder din style din on ladder. Did you guys figure out today that uh, did you guys hear that the the D2R ladder is resetting on May 4th? That's sooner than I thought it would be. Not gonna lie, that's a lot sooner than I thought it would be. And uh, that being the case, that being the case, we don't actually have a lot of time to get to level 99 if we're still gonna do that. We have to, we have to really put in the work because it's it's like 14 days, right? Something like that, or or a little over, a little over two weeks. We getting these din skills on point, boys. We're we're just getting we're getting the buttons down. We're getting the memory. We're getting the memory looking good. Muscle memory. We're getting in shape. Oh, we missed a seal. Oh, pingy. What's the what's the FPS here? What's the what's the ping? 94. I hope that's a little better when we uh, when we go to non ladder. All right, Joby, I'll start up a game, man. I'm feeling good. All right, whoo! Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna make Jack, and uh, you know the password, bro. You know the password. I guess we're starting things off on the right foot here today. We're starting things right off on the right foot with the the battle for the top din spot. All right, Joby is on some sort of din. VT. Okay, he's on VT. Oh, look at that. That's a nice grief. That's a nice grief. Oh, look at this. Look at this stuff. Oh, this is cute. Do you, would you like to see my gear, Joby? Clearly be like Leroy Jenkins in his duel tonight. You, you're goddamn right, Kyle. You're goddamn right. And uh, big cheers to you, brother. Joby don't even want to see my gear. I'm so pumped about that. I'm so pumped you don't even want to see it. Oh, this is great, boys. This is great. Joby don't even want to know. Oh, my God. He's in for a surprise. I, I noticed he got the 2011s with the poison. What does he think I'm going to do? Poison? He thinks I'm going to poison him or something? What is this? What you... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Murdered him. Well, I guess it's an all it in. I guess it's an all it in. I do have FOH, yeah. Uh, but it's uh, put it this way. I didn't even token after my duel with uh, after my duel with Doombringer. I, I didn't I haven't even used a token since that. So it's like it's literally the same skill point set up and everything. Trash again. Oh, all oh, them's is fighting words, boys. Them's is fighting words. I think I think Joby's going to have a very rude awakening. He's going to learn tonight who the true top in is. He thinks he's going to take it, and boys, I I hate to do this. We, we might be friends, IRL, but when we step into this arena, 
It's not going to feel like it. It's it's not going to feel like it. F part is in. Oh, it is F. Impossible. Maybe it's four socket. We can roll. Oh, it is. Oh, we actually got to keep that. Hold on. We, we got to keep that. Uh, I'm going to roll another insight for LLD just in case Joby decides to get back into it. Uh, and then we're going to put that on the LLD charger. Yeah. Yeah, that's the game plan. Yep, yep, four socket, F partisan. You gotta go get it. Uh, those don't, go, you know, you, you always gotta keep a good, healthy stock of those. All right. We just about ready for this. We just about ready for this, boys. By the way, I just want to give another cheers, another shout out to Kyle and another cheers and shout out to Inso, my dude. Thank you so much again for three months at God tier, brother. Amazing. All right. Let's get it, boys. We're just diving right in. We're just diving right in with an easy win against Joby tonight. Just, just diving right in. How's the ping up there? How's the ping up there in Canada? Actually, hold on, dude. Speaking of ping, my ping is ass right now. But I just want to point that. And I'm not. I'm not saying switching games. I'm just saying I just want to point that out in case I lose. Right? Just in case I drop a round or something. I just want to just want to point it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's not allowing it. Not allowing it. He doesn't. He doesn't want that to happen. He doesn't want. He doesn't want me warming up. No shot. All right, here we go. Round one, boys. What I tell you boys? What I tell you boys? I, I, I told you. He's going to be in for a rude awakening. Thank you, and so I appreciate you, brother. I'll keep you posted, but I think you see how this is going to go. I, th I think we can all see. All right, let's uh, let's let's jam this. Whoo! Round one in the books. That was getting close. That was getting close. Now that, that was that was a bit of a nail biter. That was a bit of a nail biter. I think I know what he's I think I know what he's doing in his stash. All right, here we go.
Joby's in trouble. Oh my god, he got there. That was close. I I, I think I fucked that up. I, I got a little too I got a little too overzealous. Oh uh, yeah, it, it should be just he gods. Yep. Yeah, I knew what Joby's game plan was going to be today. The order welcomes you. I knew what his game plan was going to be. <clears throat> this is fight for top in. Go, bro. Round three. One boys. Two one. Whew. We yeah, uh, we we got we got some tricks, Kyle. We got some tricks. We got some tricks, my dude. We're we're a little we're a little unpredictable. We're we're probably not what Joby expects. The, the strategy is probably not what he expected. But I think I picked the best strategy for the matchup. I, I've dueled Joby a lot. Uh, I've dueled VTs a lot at this point. All right, let's uh, let's smash him out real quick. Uh, let's let's go a quick three one right here, and uh, then Joby will, is going to play with his back on the ropes. And then we'll probably let him have a couple more. We'll let him have a couple of wins. And then we're just going to take it from him.
2 G. 2-2, two, two, boys. 2-2. Two, two. See, this is exactly what I expected Joby to do. This is exactly what I expected him to do. Uh, I think he knows what's up now, though. Uh, I think Joby knows that the, the, the jig is up. The jig is up. So let's let's go to the stash. Let's make some adjustments. Just a little bit, just in case. Look at this, boys. 420 light res. It's very appropriate. The order welcomes you. Yeah, yeah, FT4. Close duel, man. 2-2. Two, two. Here we go. Round five. Yeah, I'll go up here so when you die, you don't have to walk uh, and go get your body as far. God damn. GD for god damn. I knew this would be it. It's just going to be an FOH run fest. But hey, that's what I prepared for. 
That's what I prepared for. We we actually took we actually took all of the poison charms out because I figured that's his best strategy is just run an FOH. So we actually took all of the poison charms out and stacked light res to the moon so that his conviction wouldn't matter. That, that like conviction couldn't rip any resistance away. Yes. But it's still FOH still hurts, man. And 400 FOHs will certainly still kill us eventually. It's it's just how it is. It's not a good idea. You notice how I'm trying to charge him every once in a while uh, and that doesn't work? It would be the same with the bow. So the second I pull the bow out, he just runs. He gets an FOH and runs. And it, it doesn't, I don't win the exchange. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's switch it up. Let's try something a little different. Three three boys. It's three three for the duel of top din. Thanks, Joby. Joby says good stomp. Oh my god. I thought they might. He says two hammers hit him at start. Like I, I actually uh I started spinning off map there for a little bit, and then I saw him teleport and start walking down in that area. I was like, I wonder. Clearly moonlighting is a lightning rod. Oh shit, yeah, exactly, dude. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Uh, Kyle, big, big cheers to that, man. Thank you so much. That is awesome, dude. Much, much appreciated. Woo! Here it is, boys. It's down to the final round. It's 3-3. We now have a fight. What do you think? Do you guys think I should just give it to Joby? 
You think I should? You think I should just give it to? You think I should give it to him? I kind of feel bad for him. Oh, never mind. He's in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, boys. Final round. Good start. Kyle! Take no prisoners. Go for the throat. No! Gotta be patient, boys. Gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Oh my god, we low. We got we gotta regen some life back, boys. We gotta we gotta stay we gotta stay not dead. And there it is. Boys, we're going to have to go back to the station to debrief about this. Because I got some words for this guy. I got some words. What a decisive battle. What a decisive battle it was.
Here we stand on the corpse of the previous top den. I gotta say, boys, I am overburdened. If I'm gonna lose top den spot to anybody, if it's gonna be to anybody, I would rather it be this guy. Uh, what an incredible duel, I gotta say. That was close. That was a close fight, man. And wow. I'll say it's a big improvement since the first time Joby jumped on stream many years ago now and absolutely trashed on me Din v Din. I think he went 120 and, and 0. Uh, so it was better than that. Big, big step uh, back and forth. Both of us were super low, dude. That last round came down to it. I was I was thinking about the charge PK, uh, but goddamn, dude, he got there. I, I got caught, man. I made a stupid move, and teleported in, caught some nasty smites, and that was the end of it. I, I knew I'd hit him with a hammer early on, but uh, I, I made a big mistake there in the last round. It's all right, man. That shit happens. That shit happens, and I got to say congratulations to Joby. Joby certainly deserves this, man. Joby certainly deserves top 10 spot. Man, you look at that record that he's got. Yeah, he says he geared for PLR too much. He says, GG's, bro, he, he geared for PLR too much. I figured he would. Uh, I figured he would. But uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Let me, let me, just, let me just show you now. Let's, let's get this. Let's get this looking right. Here, actually, let me, let me put his win in here. Let me, let me put his win in so that his, his record's updated. You gotta, you gotta look at this record, dude. If there ever was a Din that deserved that win, it is certainly Joby. Uh, this guy, incredible. Guy taught me a lot of stuff, just about everything I know on the Din. Not gonna lie. Uh, it, it's, he, he deserves it, dude. All right, let's... Okay, cool. We got we got it in there. Uh, let's see. All right, let's pop over to it. Damn, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I got the wrong date in there, but uh, I I put the wrong date in. But dude, look at this. It's an undefeated record, man. That that's that's impressive. That's really impressive. Uh, for any character, let alone a paladin. And he hasn't had easy opponents either. Like, look at this. Uh, P money after absolutely slaughtering me. Uh, granted, Joby was a little better on the VT, but he's a serious opponent, dude. Uh, Dingus, a veteran in and of himself. Jammy Jams, Tempest, the Cold Sorceress, then Doombringer, now Cooley. The previous top den. The previous top den. Crown now relinquished to my boy Joby. Uh, I gotta say... Proud of this guy. Proud of this guy. He did well. It was very well played. Very back and forth match. Now that being said, I'm coming for that title back, Joby. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Big cheers to that. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, you know what? That just reminded me, dude. I haven't even got mine in there. Now, now we in. Now we got we we got the like in there. Count me in, brother. That's a it's a good observation. Appreciate that. Yeah, smash that like button, guys. What the fuck? I don't really know what it does in the algorithm, but it looks cool. It makes me feel good about myself. It makes me think that you guys at least enjoyed that back and forth duel right there. You know, it's something. It's something. I was very close. I actually, I'm not gonna lie. Going into this, I act all tough and you know, I, I joke. I expected to get smashed by Joby. I'm not gonna lie. We we've dueled a lot, dude, and I very rarely beat him ever on a din. You know, I, I've always known. I've always known it would only be a matter of time before this absolute savage would get to the top of the ranks and uh, and take me out, dude. But I honestly didn't know it was going to be so close. That was back and forth. That was literally one hit away. One hit away. Yeah, very, very sneaky, man. Very sneaky. He, he was very good at it. I think, uh, so the strategy with that one, what I did there, or what I attempted to do, I'll show you the build. I'll show you the build. I sh I'll show you what I did for this matchup. So I actually really did want to go 451s because I knew Joby was expecting it. 
Uh, and I know it's certainly a powerful tactic, uh, even against the VT. But then I had flashbacks of all the other duels that I'd done with Joby. And it's so rare to hit Joby with an arrow. Joby is a little bit different than a lot of other VTs. A lot of other VTs in this matchup will get hyper aggressive, right? They'll get hyper aggressive. And, you know, they'll kind of stay in your little bubble looking for their opening. They'll try to blind spot you for some reason. Joby don't do that. Joby, Joby knows, dude. But that being the case, those other VTs are easier to hit with these with the arrows and the 451 poison because they do that. Because they kick around. They stay in your little bubble. They stay on your screen. Joby uh, is smart. He knows that FOH is greater than this din, right? It, it might not hit very hard. But as long as you can dodge hammers and chuck FOH constantly, yeah, you're going to get there. So I knew that would be his game plan. So I had two game plans. My game plan was I knew I wasn't going to hit him with an arrow, so all of this charm space would be wasted. So what I did instead was just stack up nasty light res to make sure that the conviction aura that he had didn't actually hurt me. It didn't actually rip any resistances away. Uh, that way he wasted points into conviction. You know what I mean? Uh... But I was like, he's truly going to next level me if he doesn't even have conviction, like if he doesn't use it. But he did. He did. Uh, I, I contemplated using, uh, you know, putting points into resist lightning to get up to 85 and going a 15% wisp. Uh, I had one of those kicking around somewhere. I I'd contemplated that. Uh, but I decided against it all because there's... There's just a certain setup that you want, man. The way you win this match, as you guys saw the, the rounds that I won, you got to chuck hams. You got to chuck hams. It's a guaranteed hit. You, you hit him with hams and you get out. You know what I mean? You look for your opening, you look for your stomp, and you hit him with hams. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, and that was, that was the other thing, too. I said I would rather have skillers in my inventory to do actual damage with my hammers. You know, that was the thing. I wanted to go for 13K. Let me see if I actually hit it. I wanted to go for 13k because uh, my goal was to two ham him, but I I thought that even at even at 13k, I I figured I said Joby has 6k life on his din because he goes practically full Vita, but then it clicked. I said that's right, he goes full Vita. He goes full Vita. He has no block. He always runs down. So my plan versus Joby was to put on a grief and charge him when he runs down. When he's running away or when he's sitting there, just charge in and out. Just crack him. I cracked him a couple of times for some decent damage. I think I 20 or 30 percented him a couple of times. And the cool thing is, is he probably didn't have on uh, DR. He, he probably didn't have his DR on either. So I figured that would actually be the smarter play instead of the poison charms. Because I figured he'd take his DR off. He would be running around trying to escape hammers. And every once in a while... I could get in and, and finish. My my ultimate goal, what I tried to pull off a couple of duels and actually lost the duel because of it, was if I was at a good life total and hit him with two hammers, I would finish him with smite. Like, and that way I could always charge, I could always smite, I could always throw a ham, there was always a threat. Uh, but he was he was very smart. He kept teleporting away, uh, wouldn't really let me close. Even when I even when I locked him, like, you know, he, he just opted to teleport away. He's like, okay, he's got the lock, he's going to charge in. We don't need that. Like, it was very smart. He played around it very well. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was afraid of. I, I said, uh, I anticipated that you would have low block. That your, your block would actually be very low. Uh, and that you would focus on poison. And that you would focus on, uh, you know, just not not really that much DR. You know what I mean? Yeah, very low DR, yep. Um, you probably just had it from Shaco and Enigma, like 18%. Great. Yeah, I think I think I got a little chip charge in there, just one point into charge. And I think I did like, it looked like I did about 20%. And I was like, perfect. That's all that we need. Now you're two hammers. You know what I mean? That's That was all what it was about. It's three hits. Three hits, man. Whether it's charging two hams, three hams. Like, yeah, that was, that was the game plan. It was very, it, it was kind of not what you might expect from this din. But I think it was the right setup for the matchup. Uh, double Baird COA, uh, even on the grief side, I think I have 380 resistance. Now, if my math is correct, I still have 85 light res after conviction. Conviction rips away 150 res at max. So that brings me to 230, penalty of 100 for the difficulty. I still think I'm above 85. I still think I clear it pretty well. 
Yeah, yeah. He, he did really good, man. He did really good. He's very evasive. He plays he plays the VT very differently than a lot of people in this matchup. Uh, and it, it was it's certainly the right way to do it, man. Uh, I had no idea before in the past how to even fight that, but I, I learned all of the kills that I got were directly a result of Joby, dude. He taught me how to do this matchup, basically. So it, it was fun, man. It was fun. Uh, like, uh, congrats to Joby, top in. What much deserved, dude? Much deserved. Yeah, we we had a we had a lightning 220 lightning amulet. We do hit 125 cast on this side. We have a nature's piece so that we can swap between both sides. I, I didn't use the, the Nature's Piece from Heart of the Oak. Gives you a little bit more life doing it with this Oak Sage too, but uh, yeah, mainly it was just a, so that when we swap weapons, we don't lose the Sage. That was that was what it was all about. I could have done that with Wisp, but uh, it, it's weaker. There's less charges. There's there's a lot of reasons not to. Uh, and, and plus, if I would have gone Wisp, I would have had to put points into Resist Lightning and couldn't use T-Gods. Yeah, there was there was certainly a setup like that that I had considered. But yeah, that was basically it. We had some rep life. I knew that it would probably come down. I knew I could kind of do, if I got in trouble, I could kind of do what I did in the last round and just late, like kick back and regen life. Just wait like 10 seconds and then I'm no longer in FOH range. Like I can take an FOH. Uh, so I did that a couple of times. Probably took two or three FOHs that, that should have killed me, but didn't. A Windmaster I can warm up with. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'll jam with you, bro. I'll jam with you. Is anybody... Uh, I gotta keep an eye on the Discord to see if anybody else is streaming. Hold on, let me pop into the... Let me pop into the join the stream. I see Soul kicking around in here. Just lonely Soul. Chilling in the in the join the stream channel. Now, I want to say, if this is uh, your first time in the DFC, you're wondering what the heck to do. You got to match up. You're like, man, where do I go? Uh, you should have the DFC Dueler tag in the Discord. Now, what does that mean? That means you get to see certain channels. You see the DFC chat and you see DFC results channel. That's what most players don't see in the Discord. You now see it. Uh, all right, I'll be right back, Polytheus. I'll grab my Wendy. Uh, and then what you can do is reach out into those channels and see if you can connect with your opponent. Uh, if you're having trouble, just reach out to one of the mods. We can help you get a hold of your opponent and get your game going. Now, what you'll want to do, reach out to your opponent, set your game up, just treat it like a regular old duel game, and then when you're ready, just pop into the Join the Stream channel and share your screen. Simple as that. Simple as that. And when you do that, it lets me know that you're ready to go, ready to duel. Uh, Polytheus is going up against Dio Wind here tonight. What we're going to do is we're going to hopefully get him ready here. I'm certainly not as good of a Windy player as Dio, but we can try. We can try. Let's put some of these charms away, shall we? Let's get geared up for the fire. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the physical damage. That probably could be a mistake, but we'll see. Uh, do I have 163? What's going on here? Yep, I do. I can't. Yeah, so what we'll do? We're, we're just gonna help. Uh, we're gonna help Polytheus get ready for a for a wind druid. Oh, I gotta take out the. Uh, I gotta take out the full rejuves. Or or I sh or I don't or I shouldn't. That'll really get him ready. If he can beat me with a bolt f belt full of full rejuves, he should be able to beat Dio, right? Easy. Should be simple. Greetings. All right, let's try it out, man. Uh, I got my mercenary. Don't even worry about it. It'll be like I'm Dio. It'll be like I'm as good as Dio. GG, looking forward to it, man. We'll be here. We'll be here. All right, let's do it. Go, bro.
Jesus Christ. Shit, dude. I gotta I gotta get my controls right. I didn't even hit him. I didn't even hit him. Fire Druid wins every time against Wind. I don't I don't know if that's the case. Uh I, I think if a Wind Druid gets in, uh and it, if I can get my wits with me here and start playing right, I think I can do pretty well. Uh, I think I got some tricks. Polly also has some tricks. He knows how to do the duel. I, I'm not very familiar with it. I'm not familiar, uh, much familiar with a druid, but also this duel in particular. But I'm noticing some things just in the first duel. Like he'll walk down, uh, he'll walk down, so I can't keep, I can't chain him. Nice. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's a thing. Holy shit. He just has those molten boulders waiting. Holy shit, dude. I keep hitting the wrong buttons, dude. I keep hitting the wrong... I feel like I'm so slow. Re I haven't played a druid in so long. Yeah, I had no idea that's what he was doing. He was like walking down. I thought I was going to cut him off. And then I had two molten boulders just smashing me in the dome. I was like, oh, okay. All right, there's that. Uh, I'm not sure if DR is the way to go or what. I I really don't think it is. I think I would just rather try to outcast him. Like just have super fast cast. I I don't think I don't think DR is the way to go. Uh, he's running a shaman dude, so it's like a straight fire build. Uh, going with the bear. Probably some negative res gear too. I should actually figure that out.
Oh, shit, dude. GG. I think I hit him a couple of times there, but it is really hard to hit, man. He's got a good strategy. Yeah, because we get hit with the Armageddon too, right? Like the Armageddon does some does some physical damage too. But the thing is, I, I feel like I want 163 cast, right? I'm pretty sure he has 163 cast. Uh, and we can't not have 163 cast. That would be my thought. You can't you can't get outcast. Like you since you have to do the stomping, there's zero shot you can be slower than your opponent. Yeah, he's 163. So uh, like only a negative five uh, fire res. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think there's zero shot that I can be slower than him. Because you have to stomp and throw a NATO. He just has to teleport away. There's zero shot I can be slower than him. My life is also super low. I, I, it's probably a max block setup. There we go. Wow. Molten Boulder, dude. Molten Boulder for the win. Yeah, that's the big thing. So that's what's killing me is the Molten Boulder. It just don't get hit with Molten Boulder and out nato i feel like that's the that's how you do it as a druid that's that's basically what dio has to do and dio is probably far better at it than me like tricking him being tricky with where you're placing your natos and how you're stomping i feel like if i was better at that i, I think i would be better at this tool oh you think so let's do it All right, let's do it. I'll try it out, dude. Yeah, dude, Molten Boulder. All right, I was going to try to chain, but I don't think that's the right idea.
Damn, dude. Damn. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Ravens. Yeah, it's been a while, boys. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've jammed on the on the druid. We uh, we basically jam uh we basically just jam din good or bad, man. Like good or bad. Uh DR, DR mixture def helps longevity. Yeah, but I don't think I have it, dude. Like, I don't think I have a, a setup to hit 163 with DR. I I mean, maybe. But I, I might be able to kick my DR up, like, a little. Let me see. Yeah, my my double bared COAs on the other guy. Let's put this. Oh, I can't wear that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I don't have a setup. Um, just know you'll you'll probably have to hit Do two or three times more. Like, yeah, I, I this druid is not complete and hasn't really been thought out too much. I mean, he's currently in max block setup. Yeah, like 6k life is so bad. It's so bad for the charms that I have, right? Like, we have a lot of stuff into... into uh, dexterity, a lot of points. He and I ran a few after the match with Duke the other week. How'd those go? Back and forth. Did you win? Did he win? Oh, wow. 5,568. Oh, no shit. Yeah, that seems, that seems low. All right, all right, all right. I, I I get you, I get you. I'll say I'm confident though. All right, go, bro. Let's do it. Me too. I'm I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one. I, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play not like Dio. I'm gonna play like Cooley. That's not doing anything for me. That's not doing anything for me. Yeah, you can't stomp. Wow, dude, this is impossible. I don't know what to do. I can't stomp and he won't run into my natos. I'm boned. I think there's zero outs for a wind druid. Whoever was saying that, you're right. I'm fully convinced. This is a very lopsided matchup. I actually didn't intend for it to be this lopsided. Holy shit. I wonder if... Let me do this. I'm actually gonna... This is a little cheaty face, but hey, it's just practice purposes. I'm just gonna put hot spurs on. It just makes up for all the DR and stuff. Like, the, all the DR and th that I'm missing. Probably. You know what I mean? It, it's... It's... Yeah. Just give me a little bit more survivability.
Shit, dude. Never chase him when he's walking down. Never chase him walking down. And one. Close one though. Yeah, I think I think you just have to be on point with your stomps. Like you just have to be what I'm realizing is you can't go in willy-nilly. You can't go in trying to get fancy. It's just gotta be one and done. You gotta try to I, I think Dio is gonna be a little better at it than me because he's he's gonna be better at catching him when he's not ready. If you ever watch uh Dio duel, he's really good at just stomping you when you don't want him to stomp you. And I feel like that's what I need to do in this matchup, is just wait for him to certainly not be ready for it. Yeah, chaining certainly punishes. 100%. I don't know, Coolio. Go Gage is a pretty savage player, man. One of the best druids I've ever dueled. I don't think he's a fan of the no pools, but there's certain people that aren't. Uh, I like it so far, man. I like it. Uh, we just had a pretty insane matchup. Uh, me and Joby Din v. Din, and it was back and forth, dude. Uh, it feels pretty good. New rule feels pretty good there, which is that's typically that can turn into a lazy matchup, I think, where, you know, people are uh, are keeping their distance and I'm spamming hams. He's spamming FOH. Like, we both run out of mana pretty quick. But, you know, I, I think it was... I think that was pretty good. I think this duel is pretty good. It's another seemingly mana heavy duel, but they go fast, man. They go fast. Uh, it, it, it only disadvantages the Sin class and the Necro class, really. Uh, the other classes that it significantly disadvantages, we've given them mana pools back. Like, like the Barb and the Ghost Sin. Oh shit, that volcano hurts, bro. You know what hurts even more? Molten boulder.
Nicely done. Close duel. Got him a couple of times, but... Yeah. I was trying to be opportunistic with my stomps there, but he was, it was... He was very good at getting away from him. Very good at getting away from him. Yeah, it hasn't been doing shit for me. Uh, Grizzly has been doing shit for me, that's for sure. It is tanking a lot, though. I feel like the, the, the Grizzly tanks a lot. A lot more than the Wolves did. Well, I mean, I, I kind of gave up on my Wolves because I got sick of recasting them before. Grizzly is just easier to recast. I kind of like that. Bear hit that time. Damn, dude. Druid cast frames suck ass. They are so bad. I, I say that, but it's the top class right now, so you really I guess you can't complain too much, but Yeah, it's just super slow. Like, it feels like I'm casting in slow motion. I teleport in for a stomp, and then I go to teleport out, and it feels like, all right, two years later, all right, finally. Uh, yeah, oh, no, I'm dead because it took too long. Yeah, that's just, that's how it feels. All right, let's do it. Go, bro. I just, I got to be smart. I got to kind of be late a little bit, I think.
Yeah, this is just bad. This is just a bad duel. I knew that was the only hope, dude, is just to, like, run around and spam NATOs and hope he runs into them. Like, that was the only way. <laughs> Wasn't the prettiest, but it was my only out. Yeah, I think that's kind of, I guess that would be like the cadence of the duel is just the wind druid is, doesn't aggress. It's like a, it's the only duel where the wind druid doesn't aggress. Like you just do it opportunistically. My, my ultimate goal there was to kind of lull him to sleep and make him think that I would never aggress him and then hopefully stop him and get it, but... It's it's a very long term game plan. You get punished for those chains hard. Shit, dude, almost had it. GG. I tried to lull him to sleep there. We tried we tried to lull him to sleep. We, we didn't quite get there. We, we didn't quite get there. We tried. It was a valiant effort. Yep, 4th of May, ladder season, season 4 starts up, dude. It should be interesting. I, I know some of the things that they're gonna, that they're gonna do for the next ladder season. By some, I mean, like, I know one, which is kind of cool. But the fact that they're doing that one and saying that they're gonna lump it in with other updates uh, tells me that this should be a cool patch. Like, I'm hoping that they, they do some good things. Maybe new rune words, who knows? I, I doubt they would do that twice in a row, though. I doubt they would do it twice in a row. Oh shit, I gotta gotta keep an eye on the on the Discord too. Oh shit, hold up. I gotta get my ravens. Alright, there we go. We good. Shit, bro. 
I'm noticing you cannot grab a pet to stomp in this duel. Because you'll very likely kill the pet, and then you're just going to eat fire damage. You're not going to, you're not going to chain. Certainly didn't expect that. GG, Kyle. Appreciate you, man. God damn. Damn. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know, dude. This one sucks. This... <laughs> This matchup sucks. Not here. Uh, Joby did it, it did. It was very, very close. 4 3. 4 3, and it came down to one hit, man. 4 3 came down to one hit. It was very, very close, Duel. Yeah, very fun. Very, very well deserved from Joby. He did a great job. Good day. What the, what the f, man? Nobody, nobody else dueling. Where is everybody? Should do we? Should we even do DFC anymore? What is this? Everybody signs up. Nobody duels. Yeah, Dio, it's not a fair match in the pocket. Yeah, 
Dude, I, I don't even I don't even know what to do. I didn't even mean for this to be like so lopsided fucking ass face in one direction. It's, it's like so bad. I don't I don't even think there's like a strategy. I think it's just telly and spam and hope for the best. All right, go, bro. Let me let me try something else. It's just such... It's like such a high punishment if you miss a stomp. Which is why, like, I, I don't even want to stomp. I think in this matchup, it's just like... I think the fire druid is the aggressor. You know what I mean? And the the wind druid is not. Like, you just never stomp. Like, yeah, sure, if you get it, you get it. But if you don't, you get 90 percented. Like, I'm not even going close. Like, that's my game plan. That's how we do it. Just don't even go close. Good day. Oh, is it? All right, GG. Thanks, dude. How's that? Is that a little better? Slightly better? All right, sweet. Thanks, Mandy. All right, I I'm going to try it like that. We just, I think we just expect the fire druid to be aggressive, and then we just, we never go in. Like, never go in unless you know you have it and you've lulled them to sleep. Because that's the reason why, dude. You just get absolutely smashed. Okay, so I know when he's walking down or up, he has the Molten Boulder ready. Shit.
Oops. Damn, I didn't even hit him like maybe like once that time. Yeah, it's not it's not the funnest duel, I got to say. I can't carry. Cuz I think your only option is to I think your only option is just to like teleport away and throw nados. Like you can't really get aggressive. Uh, setup is 163. Uh, I don't really have the gear or the setup like to actually put DR on, but even if I did, I think it's going to compromise a lot of damage. It's going to compromise something. Um, so it, to make up for all of that shit, I just put on hot spurs here. Let me actually do this. Let me put on a dwarf star too, which is like complete BM, but it will, it will like, it will like almost make up for the, you know what I mean? For like the fact that I don't have DR. You know what I mean? It's it, it'll be like it'll be as though I was a real druid coming prepared to this duel. Maybe I can get more aggressive this way. I don't know. All right, go, bro. Let's do it. Let's try it out. It's just, yeah, I don't know what to do. That's with like BM absorb. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, I feel, but I feel like this is so lopsided for Dio, and he, <laughs> like, I, I honestly feel bad about it. Drop to, drop to, uh, ninety nine FCR. Uh, let me see. Forty-three DR. 
How much more F uh, FCR can I lose? I can lose a lot. So I can lose 30 more. Uh, so we'll just we'll just overdo it. And we'll take we'll take this off. Alright, now yeah, actually it's kind of, that's kind of smart, Maddie. Let's let's do this. Let's put this there. We'll take off uh we'll take off dwarf star. Th this will be more realistic. All right, there we go, right? We can we can lose 10 more, so we could actually have... We actually don't need this. Where's my other BK? Where's my other BK? What happened to it? All right, there we go. All right, yeah, I'll try that. I'll, I'll try that out. Th this would be like a real setup. This this would be the real thing. Yeah, cuz uh I guess whereas we're stomping or we're whereas we're not stomping having 163 doesn't really matter. I mean, we're certainly more tanky, but god damn. Druid just feels so slow on the cast to me. Gosh, I'm not used to this. Oh shit, dude. Yeah, I, I don't even I don't really think it matters, Maddie. You just you just die. It's like a hundred to zero. Like, there's no shot. I am overburdened. Not in town. Maybe Dio will swap to maybe Dio can swap to Fire Druid. <laughs> Fire Druid v Fire Druid. I, I feel like even that wouldn't be fair because Polly Polly's probably got like the nastiest anti-fire setup like he's probably got the nastiest mi uh, nastiest mirror setup yeah yeah i i don't know what to do uh we had a matchup for last week but uh didn't get to fight it out want to watch oh yeah for sure dude yeah let's do it oh brandell is ready to go too dude let me let me pop into this let me think about this match dude i feel like it's i i feel like it's not at all fair and i didn't intend it to be this way i thought Gosh, what do we do? Do we just give Dio two matches? I got an idea. I'll take a second chance against Dio. That's an easy win. I can't beat Druids. Um, I'm 0 and 99 versus Druids. So we'll just do that. It's like a, a lopsided matchup in his favor. Yeah, yeah. No, but I feel bad because that's like two matches in a row that like have just... I unexpectedly were like super lopsided against you. I feel bad. Yeah, let's just do that. I'll just take one on the chin, dude. I'll, I'll go second chance versus Dio after this on the din. And, uh, and we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I see Brand streaming, but I don't, uh, I don't see him do, I'm not sure if his opponent's in game or whatnot. I think he's just ready. I think he's just ready. COA plus Suicide Branch. Uh, I can't wear COA with the current setup. And keep these boots. 
yeah it's it's just not made for it like i haven't put i haven't put enough thought into this druid i i wouldn't know the first thing like i've literally spent the last six months on a pally good or bad and have forgotten about every other character except for one that i've been practicing with which was the es fireballer absolutely love her but uh, I feel so rusty on that druid. It all feels slow. I can see myself double casting oak because I don't. I'm not thinking that I'm casting it, which I'm not. And then when I realize I'm not casting it, I like sit there for five seconds until it finally fucking casts. Like druid feels so awkward to me. Like same thing. Same for bear. Same for cyclone armor. I often am misclicking cyclone armor because you'll see like my potion thing pop up. That's because on the paladin I have like foh set to that button. So like I, I want to go to that as like my auxiliary skill, but it's not it's not set up right. Yeah, it's just, it's just super weird. Just super weird. Yeah, bro, this is this is what we'll do. I'll just uh, I'll get the din ready. I'll get the din ready. Yeah, and uh, by the way, Max. Yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, that's totally fine if you guys do that. All right, what would I do? What would I do versus Dio? This is a VT. We have this. We have this. I'm going to set this up so that... Our controls for this are... One and tilled and apply. Right? Is that right? There we go. Right, there's this. Z could be zeal. Z for zeal. Get these going versus Dio. Yeah, like, I think I'm certainly hosed versus Dio, but we're going to try. I mean, we're dead. Most certainly dead. That for cannot be frozen. We need some life leech. That brings us to 45 casts. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, I would need string of ears. I'm going to have to mule that over. Oh shit. We gotta we gotta really think about this setup too. I haven't I haven't really paid attention to this din in a while. We've been we've been all about the murder din for the last couple of weeks. We'll get it though. We'll get it. We'll be all set. Boys, WTF! I'll see no duels going down. <laughs> Joby sent me a message, by the way, uh, about an hour ago. Very close tools. Was expecting an easy victory if you were using that bow. Uh, I think that was the perfect counter. Well done, number two, Din. Cheers to you, buddy. What a guy. What a guy. Speaking of cheers, man. You know what? I think I've got the perfect answer to waiting for these duels. And that is to do some cheers. We back in the spaceship, looking down at the number two din now. In the background. Feels bad, man. But I will say, if I'm going to lose, if I'm going to lose the number one din spot, I would rather have it be in that fashion. I would rather have it be in that fashion. 4-3, coming down to one hit. Like, literally one hit with just about anything. Yeah, I feel pretty good about it. It's better than getting absolutely decimated. Like, that would have sucked. I think Joby was right. Like, if I went with the bow strategy, it would have been pretty easy for him. D 
Theo top druid. Technically, Polly is top druid. Technically, Polly is top druid. But I think we're. I think we would see a different duel with Dio going at it, dude. Like, I, I feel so awkward on the Druid. Like, I, I was just immediately mentally stressed out. I can feel myself mentally stressed out after that duel. Like, having to think about casting spells. Because the, when you play on a Paladin so long, the, the cast frames, you just get used to those cast frames. So when you go to some slow-ass character that can't cast spells for shit, like, it, it just, it, it takes you off your timing. You're like, wait, that should have cast, it didn't. Okay, wait, where am I? What cast, what didn't? So you have to look, and then you have to think where the hotkeys are. It's just like mentally taxing for, for something that's like not your character, you know what I mean? Like you, you really have to warm up and practice on it. All right, sick, Max, GG, man. Fiendin', we're fiending for some duels. We're fiending for him. Last week, we didn't, we didn't see anybody. Everybody was scared away. Everybody was scared away. This week we started uh we started things off right though man that was really cool appreciate you joby just jumping right in like that dude appreciate you too paulie just being right ready and everything man it's so hard to line up everybody's schedules you know what i mean but this is this is what i'm gonna do actually uh we were talking about doing this for dueling on stream it benefits people in the rankings who duel on stream uh, and that is basically everybody who loses gets a second chance if you duel on stream. Like, if you lose on stream and let us watch, you get a second chance. So, like, the reason that's good for the rankings is because it doesn't hurt you any. Losses don't really matter that much. But the only thing that matters is wins. So it just gives you a second chance to get a win. So, you know, it doesn't guarantee that you'll move up in the rankings. It just gives you twice as many shots as anybody else. Winners can't get it. Losers can. That way, rankings don't get effed up too much, and it rewards the people that the people that move up in the ranks are the people that duel on stream. Like, it's a, it's a big advantage. So I'm thinking about doing that. So technically, I am in the, I'm in the second chance category now. We also have LOL Silly in the second chance um he might get a second chance to a second chance if he loses you never know uh just all depends on how many people we got ready uh if you are ready and and you're here even if you don't have your opponent or whatnot just hop in the hop in the join the stream channel so i know who's here and then that way we can like easily set up second chance duels like i i think i think there needs to be some benefit to dueling on stream i like the way dfc is set up with uh you know that we can we can do our duels at any point during the week but it's so often that people do that now that like we we don't get to watch them all right sick yeah i'll, I'll tune in now max uh let's see popping in popping out let's get it set up all right boys finally we've got uh we've got an absolute legend toe shank oh no this is uh Max versus, who is it? Max versus Tay PK. That's who it is. Boys, let's check it out. Let's see how this one pans out. It's certainly going to be a decisive battle from last week, and we're going to see how it goes. Who are you rooting for? Let me know. In this corner, we've got Max tuning in to this very creative sin here. Getting in his duel from last week and also, hopefully, getting to see a duel against Toshank tonight. Sin v. Sin, no pools. That one, I'm, I, I want to play. pay very close attention to that. Very curious to see how that's going to go. All right, looks like Max is ready to go. Waiting on Tay PK to line him up. Look at this. Tay PK named his, uh, named his sin Sink. I think he might have been a little bit inspired. If I had to guess, he's probably a little bit inspired by the legendary Maddie D2, aka Sanct. Oh man. Oh no, he's not a he's not on a sin. He's on a what is he? Is he a din? Oh my god. That's that's yeah, he's a he's a din. Oh my god, dude. Are you seeing what Max is doing? 
so Max has a setup. <laughs> Max has a setup where he's using main hand infinity, which is risky because he can get charged down. But he makes up for it because if he does hit his opponent with traps, it now works that way. All of his trap damage, like he reduces his opponent's resistances. Kind of sweet, really, man. I gotta say, this is what this is what we were talking about. This is what we were talking about, boys. Max, extremely creative. Yeah, PD2 looks good right now, man. Looks really good. Yeah, not sure, dude. I'd probably I'd probably uh spectate some tournaments for PD2 if anybody has them. But I don't know about like the thing I, I hate about PD2 is like building up a character and then it just deletes every season. You know what I mean? That's it might not be but even even with that, like you know, even in the absence of that, they they have to do that with like the changes to the maps and everything that they do. But but with me, I would just like I just prefer D2R. I, I enjoy watching it. It's just there's so much of a time commitment to to build up and stuff. It's just nuts. There is non ladder now. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah, this is this is Tay PK Joby. And yeah, it is their matchup from last week. Tay PK is on a din. It looks like he's on a VT. Max is on the sin, man. He's got the he's got the infinity sin. I'm not sure if he switched off from infinity now after that first surprise win. He might have been thinking, all right, man, man, the jig is up. Oh, big hits, big hits from Tay PK. Perhaps he did. When when he was in close range there doing that exchange, I didn't see infinity come out. He might have swapped off of it, knowing that uh, knowing that Tay PK now has prepared for the infinity. Yeah, Tay PK very, very low in health here. But also knowing that he's going up against the VT. So when he goes up against the VT and he busts out that infinity and the VT knows and prepares, he can charge him down and it's going to be pretty bad for him. Max just running him through the ringer with those traps, dude. Tay PK surviving, but barely. He says good duel. He's... He's seen enough of that round. He was probably Mind Blast PK. He was super low. And he, like, sat there in a lot of traps, too. We're like, gosh, that's... This is rough. I think if I was Tay PK, my strategy on a VT is... Yeah, yeah, he said he did give it up. I think that's cool, man. I think that's cool that he gave it up. Um, My strategy, if I was Tay PK, would be to just, like... Max has to kind of sit in his traps a little bit. He spreads them out. I think I would just CT cast FOH a lot. Like, just sit on the outside, CT cast FOH until Max does something. Until he, like, sets his traps up in a certain direction that gives you an opening. Like, I would just be super patient. That, that would be my strategy. Sins are so hard on a Din, man. I've gotten Max a few times, though. Um, I've got Max a few times, and the way that I did it was uh, was basically that. Like you just you have to be patient. You if you go into him and he's like sitting there and he's slow he's slowly walking you down. He's he's always ready. All right, and here it is. Oh man, Tay PK tried to get on the inside there, but he got uh, he got held up by that uh, by Shadow Bay. Oh my God, got held up by Shadow Bay, got caught and smashed with those traps, dude. GGs, he says. 
Is that it? Yeah, I, I thought it was. I thought it was three zero so far. They got. They got one more. Yeah, it's FT four. It's technically. It technically FT four. All right, GG, dude. All right, here it is, final round. All right, come on, Tay PK, you got this. See, he's kicking around right in those traps way too much, I think. Yeah, he he probably just took a lot of damage. I, I think, um, I, I would assume he has access to FOH, that he's a VT. I would just stay on the outside and CT cast, dude. He did get some good hits in there, though. Max staying within range of that uh, of that five stack. Knowing that he's going to teleport back to it. All right, there we go. I was going to say that's actually a pretty good opening for Tay PK, but he wasn't able to capitalize on it. Took too much damage from those traps, unfortunately. And Max sails to a quick 4-0 victory. Damn, you got to feel bad. You got to feel bad for the, for the Din player. He's already got his back against the ropes playing on a din, man. The, the disadvantaged din. It's too bad. It's too bad. But you know what? We've got Polly and Dio ready to go, boys. Let's kick over to that and see what we can do. And here we go in this corner, we've got Polytheus, the guy that absolutely just trashed on me uh, with this matchup right here. Looks like he's clearing the more, getting this all set and ready to go for his opponent. Dio win. The previous top druid. Looking to make a run to come back here, but this is a tough matchup, man. I'm wondering if Dio's gonna do anything differently. Wondering if he's gonna do anything slightly different. Uh, than, than how I did. Uh, again, I'm probably not the best sparring partner on a wind druid, I gotta, I gotta say. But, uh, but regardless. Yeah, we, these guys are hunting maps right now. Okay, GG. Looks like, looks like Polytheus might have found a good map here. At least he thinks so. Still in about an hour, uh, if you found anyone quickly. Alright, GG. Yeah, basically, uh, anyone who loses is up for second chance, bro. That's how we're doing it on stream. Anybody who's ready to duel and is here on stream uh, will just always get a second chance. And if you happen to be like the odd man out on the card, such as you, such as you were, you'll just get two shots at a second chance. So it's just a, it's a benefit we're doing now for anybody who duels on stream. Uh, just, just to give a slight advantage to people trying to move up in the rankings. Give them a little something. Uh, no, Max, Max just dueled. Max uh, just won uh, versus Tay PK. Now he does have a duel against, hopefully, Toshank tonight. Hopefully we get to see some Sin v Sin action against Toshank. That would be pretty sick. I would be, I, I'm so looking forward to that. I hope we get to see it. BRB boys.
What did I miss? We got a map. We got a map now, boys. This duel is really building up to be something. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that approach, honestly. Like, with the, with the second chances all over the place. Like, because I think it's good. The, I think DFC has to be set up the way that it is. Just because, you know, we're all adults. We got schedules. We got our own time so we can be here and stuff. Uh, but we certainly, like... We need people to duel on stream, right? Like, uh, otherwise we don't we don't have a DFC televised event. So, I want to reward the people that are like here with us, ready to go. And I think second chance is just the fairest way to do it. You just if you duel on stream, you get a second chance. And then if it gets to the point where like there's so many people dueling on stream, good, we'll give them all second chances. That could like, you know what I mean? Even if even if we don't see them, even if we don't see them all. We just like set up matches. Yeah, and uh, pay attention to the Arena GL website because what we'll do is uh, like here, I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll just do it live. Like, so it would look like this. We would go over here and we would just edit this. And then we'll add a row. So like the first second chance will be likely Cooley. Cooley versus the loser of this match, which so let's say it's Dio wind. Right? Since Dio dueled on stream, boom, there it is. Din V Drew. And then start it up. So, like, everybody that loses, like, if Brand loses or Duke loses, just immediately, like, you, you get assigned another match. So it's just there, so even if we don't get to see it, you know that, like, there is a second match. It will usually be, be between two people who lost, so like someone will lose again and that's okay like you're you're really no far no farther behind than you would have been either way like losses don't really matter in the dfc it's all about wins it's all about how much wins you can rack up so yeah i i, I like it i i think it's a decent idea we'll see how it pans out man and, and you, you certainly want to see the people move up the ranks who are here who are dueling who are exciting fun to watch yeah i like it All right. Two hundred and fifty ping. Oh my god. You know essential guy. You you guys want me to make the game? You guys want me to make it? Hold on. Good day. You guys want me to make a game? I can try it out. What what are you guys looking for? For a map. Yeah, ping is certainly going to be a pain in the ass in this matchup. Uh, this ping is not... Uh, this, this ping isn't bad in this game. It's a bridge map. Like, is this map good? I think this is an H map. I think this might be like, the, is this the perfect map? Is this? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not quite an H map. Yeah, my ping is really good in this game. There we go. I'll, I'll send you the I'll send you the pass to Dio in Discord. Here, we'll, we'll swap back over to uh, Polytheus' uh, standpoint here. This looks like a decent map. Good ping for both people. I, I would hope, or at least uh, not so shitty ping for both people. Best we can ask for sometimes. Dio Wind. Let's check one. I think it's that.
All right, there we go. All right, so, yep, these guys are just clearing more again right now. Uh, gotta do it, man. We gotta do it. We gotta, we gotta hunt for the, the perfect games. I'm just happy these guys are here and ready to go. I'm, I'm so happy that Dio takes duels like this. I feel so bad for setting it up. I didn't know it was so lopsided. I honestly thought that a Wind Druid might have some sort of advantage with Cyclone Armor, but yeah, I was certainly wrong. Like, it, it's it's very miserable. But, uh, but hey, if Dio loses, Dio gets second chance versus Cooley. If Polly loses, he might also get a second chance at Cooley. Right? The, the number two Din in the DFC and top Din in the world. Joby is the top in the DFC, but Cooley topped in in the world. Right? This little organization, okay, doesn't mean shit. This little dueling organization. No, no, no. Y'all know who the real top in is. Right? Y'all know who the real, the real top in. He's right here. He's right here. Is, is it possible for Joby to take... No, I, I don't really know what he would have to do to take that title. It's just... It's more street cred than it is duels one. You know what I mean? It's a hard one to take. It's a hard one to take. Yeah, dude, I can't wait for that, man. You see you see the announcement for that on official? You, you see what we doing next week? I'm pretty pumped about it, dude. I, I got my ladder dude ready. Uh, we, we did some practice duels in the Discord a couple days ago. And, uh, I didn't want to do this, but I ended up dumping a lot of resources to actually gear a character. We had, we had, like, Doom that had a ladder character. He popped in. We had a couple of other people who were, like, pretty decent, had some nasty characters, all in these, like, BM duels. And I gotta tell you, man, like, it was pretty frustrating. It was like, okay, like... I can't be going in with subpar gear. I hate to I hate to spend resources on ladder characters. I really hate it. But I'm like, this is this is a competition. We gotta be ready. We gotta be ready. We gotta represent the top in in the world. The 2022 top in in the DFC and current top in in the world. We gotta represent that. We gotta represent it. Uh, Meta's not broken. It's more of like a situational trick more than anything. Like, it's it's more of a situational trick that, that you use when people get overly defensive, which is a lot of people, right? Like, especially in pub games, like nubs that just kind of sit back and spam Bone Spirit or spam Cold Spells or, or what have you. It just makes it easier to catch those people. But there are a lot of people using it in pub games, though. <laughs> I gotta say. I, I think Maddie, Maddie and Joby have uh, both sent me screenshots, I think, of people uh, talking about that trick in pub games. Which is kind of cool. Like, uh, talking about mastering it, doing it. It's certainly a good trick, dude. I use it still. Yeah, it's really good. I think these boys are mentally getting warmed up here. Just mentally letting the gears turn, getting the blood flowing for what could be an epic showdown. Oh, okay, yeah, Dio's, Dio's got some fam stuff. Who's on deck next? Who's on deck next after this? Loser of this could be on deck versus Cooley for sure. But the Mo duels the better. The Mo duels the better. You know what? You know what we could also do while we wait for some people. I know we've got some people that are kind of uh, that are kind of away waiting to do something. Boys, we got to get to 99 on this din. I'm like 96.33 right now, 96.35, and we only have a little over a couple of weeks to get there. I'm so much further behind than I thought I would be. We could do some terror zones. We could get it leveled up, dude. We need to. We need to, every level 99 needs to have a story. Every every level 99 needs to have a ladder in which they place somewhere. That's how we're doing it. That could be abrasive. That could be. People feeling real good tonight.
Look at this, Polytheus making some swap ups here. He's he's opting to go for some more mana charms. I really like that. I think uh, I think we see a lot more characters having those life mana charms in their stash now, myself included. I use them. I mean, I use them in a duel against Joby tonight. I've used them prior uh, in other duels when the uh, I, I use them against um uh, against Tempest. At least in one of the setups that I had. I think towards the end we just sacrificed it to try to make the most of the inventory, but. Uh, but yeah, at least a lot of people have those on deck, man. I'm really like, what do you guys think of the new rule? The new uh, no pulls rule? I think it's panning out pretty well. Like, I, I honestly think it's panning out pretty well. Duels seem to go quicker, which is probably like we, we have a, a bit more downtime sometimes on stream. Not just because there's fewer people dueling on stream, but because duels aren't lasting as long. Like... It, saw, it exactly solved the problem we were hoping for it to solve. Like, duels don't go on forever. There's, like, very little lates. What is happening? Uh, Dio's, Dio's doing some fam stuff right now. We're just wait, we're waiting for this duel to start up right here. Open to any duels, though. We can... Uh, if anybody's on deck, dude, or, or ready to go right now, like, we could do that. Dio probably won't be much longer, though. Yeah, yeah, I think it, I would agree, Max. Like, I think it, it, it exactly solves the problem that we were hoping to solve with it. Like, there was a lot of hate for it, you know, and whether or not, whether or not the decision just cycled out the builds that were lating, or whether or not it just forces them to play differently, I think remains to be seen. And over time, I think we'll be able to observe that a little better. But at least... In the last few weeks, duels have been sweet, dude. Duels have been sweet. My barb needs one of your 451s. Yeah, dude, you could borrow one. You can borrow one, Duke. Yeah, just uh, here, join, join this game. Uh, let me message you. I think this is the password. If it's not, try an F at the end instead. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab the. I'm gonna go grab the den. No, it's this. Password is this. Yeah, I just I just edited it in that message. It's a it was it wasn't what I thought it was. The tremors show signs of slowing. Dude, I, I think if we get, like, World Stone or Chaos, we, we certainly take a break and do that. No shot that we don't. All right, here we go. Let Duke borrow this 451 here. He's going to need it. He's going to need it for his matchup. I love seeing those barbs go at it, man. I love the Dukes on a barb. He's got, he's just got that kind of style, man. I really liked seeing him uh, go up against Dingus last week. Yeah, Dingus, Dingus was a little frustrated, but I think Duke's style was perfect. Duke says hot spurs are legit for barb, yeah? Let me see. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure they are, but let's, let's look it up. Let's look it up just to be sure. DFC rules. Official DFC D2R rules. 
pretty sure they're, le they're legit. Barbarian. Or just barb. Yep, barbs may go to 90%, but are not allowed to use any other absorb. Yep, so barbs can wear hot spurs. They just can't wear any other absorb. Should be good. All right, let's pop into this match. I hear it going on. We've started up, boys. Oh no, this is uh, this is just Duke versus Polly. These guys are uh, these guys are practicing it up. Oh, good hits from Duke, but damn, dude. God, look at this fire druid. It's just so insane. It's just so insane. The damage is astronomically high. And he, it, it, Polly is so patient with that, dude. Like, he's such a good mid-range dueler. I was noticing that dueling him on the Wind Druid. It's like, there was a point where I was just hoping he would run into the NATO, so I was trying to set him up. But every time, he would kind of catch on to that. And he would just, he just lights a fire up under you, man. Whether it's Fisher or whether it's Volcano. He has so many of those effective mid-range skills. I, I actually hated Volcano, because that one always hit. It just always hit. It might have only done 150 damage or whatnot. But by the time you get into that pattern, you're probably pretty low. Oh, dude, he certainly is. He's the top druid in the DFC for sure. Polytheus. I mean, and you love to see it too. Like, you love to see it on a shaman druid. Oh, big hits from Duke. But how much damage has Duke taken? That's what we don't know. Not much. Actually, not much. See, I think if I was Duke on this barb, I would stack up massive life leech. And just leech ridiculously off that bear. That's, that's how I would approach it. That's what I do on the Din versus the Fire Druid. Just like, I mean, stack up astronomical life leech. GG. P money and abrasive. That one's going to be good, man. Looks like Dio ready to go after this. Oh. I think he hit him with a molten boulder there too. Yeah, see, look at that. And now he just kicks back. He's just he's just gonna kick on the side of Duke's screen, try to light a fire up under him. Duke's trying to get these nasty stomps. Duke's surviving, dude. Maybe he does have some life leech. He's gotten in extremely close. Extremely close. And yeah, he is pretty low on life and has not died. Oh, another nice hit from Duke. Yeah, Polytheus is one hit. But Duke might be as well. There it is. Wow. Close one, dude. Holy shit. That fire druid is something else, man. And it's the way Polly plays it, too. Like, he just knows how to adapt to any situation. He knows, like, when you start turning the corner and getting aggressive, he'll make you run into the nastiest stuff. I mean, you saw it when I was doling him on the Wind Druid. He's walking, he's kind of like walking, like, uh, like, like, what is it, this way. Let's just show you guys, it would be like this way on the map, right? He's like, he's kind of walking this way, like, bam. And when he starts walking that way on the map, that means he's probably setting up these molten boulders and you do not want to get aggressive with him, right? So he's slowly working his way towards you. But then when you're like, all right, let's turn it around. Well, okay. Well, then he has like fissures and volcanoes that he like teleports into. He'll like make you keep chasing. I mean, you don't want to chase him because you're just going to get smacked with the Armageddon eventually. It's just going to be a matter of time and that's going to hurt. Yeah, yeah, it, it, he's certainly, he's certainly good, man.
Yeah, PD, PD2 looks really good in the new season, though, I will say. I love the updates that they do to that, dude. It's a really cool game. Oh, man. I, I think Dio just caught a direct hit. Dio just caught a direct hit from one of those molten boulders. I know for a fact that does not feel good. Oh, look at this. I'm actually pumped we get to see this from Polytheus' side here because we really get to see what this looks like and his strategy. See, I saw the most success when I when I tried to force Polytheist into being aggressive and chasing me. But Dio certainly has a different strategy, and it's paying off here. He's got him to about 50% health here. It's hard to tell exactly what Dio's at. But yeah, Dio is a way better Wind Druid than I am. A better Wind Druid than I can dream of being. Look at this, just bouncing in and out, getting some good hits in, getting some good angles, still managing to maintain that pressure and keep Polytheus guessing. Like, Polly doesn't know. He's like, okay, is he, is he gonna aggress? Is he gonna stomp? Is he not gonna? Look at that, perfect timing from Dio there. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. That's that's the stress, man, that's the that's the risk. You go in. I think, uh, think Polly just did a life check. I didn't quite catch it, but I don't think Dio was as low as he was hoping. I didn't quite catch it, but it didn't look like Dio was as low as he was hoping. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, big hits from Dio. And now Polly's in trouble. I think Dio sort of paid for it going in there, though. Oh, my God. And it, Polytheus did get there. He was low. Okay, so he was low. Damn, dude, that was close. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Telly around is his strat for Polly, but he he does it mid-range aggressively, right? Like, teleporting around, I think, is kind of the... I think that's how someone would play if they were new to a Shaman, right? Like, Polly Theus, they, this, he, ain't new to, he ain't new to this build. This guy knows it, dude. Like, you can't... You can't escape Polly. Like if you're if you're on his screen, you're probably gonna get hit with something. You're probably gonna get hit with something. He's gonna he's gonna light something up under you. Uh, you're you're gonna try to turn the corner and stomp him, and you're gonna get smashed by either molten boulder, Armageddon, fish, or something. Uh, you, you almost can't aggress. It's very tough to aggress. You have to have perfect timing to do it. Oh my god, bad stomp there. Bad stomp from Polly. That just about half life him. Another bad stomp from Polly, and he pays for it bad that time. See, that's what Dio's good at, man. If if you make mistakes like that, you you stomp at him when you shouldn't be. Damn. It it gets real, real quick. Uh, but also Dio has a, a tendency, he has this red herring play that he does, right? It's the, the red herring play. When his back is on the ropes, when you think that he's teleporting away to recast his pets or something, he's actually, he knows you're chasing him. And instead of recasting pets, instead of recasting the oak or something, he'll actually throw a nato. And he'll he'll sort of start to defensively protect himself with natos instead of pets. So as you push the pressure, as you try to get on top of him, it actually doesn't pan out as well as you would think. Polly doing a great job pushing the pressure here. Getting, getting a little bit daring with Dio. Getting in close. But he can push the pressure in this duel, man. This duel is all his. The pressure is all his to push. And he, he does a great job of it. Ooh. Dio might have paid with, uh, in that exchange right there. Oh my god. Nice stomp from Dio. And a chain. Yeah, that's genius, dude. Like, it, like walking into him, it's it's basically the equivalent of uh, like a bone necro shooting bone spirits and teleporting into them, like uh, doing like a bone spirit train. It's basically the equivalent. Only you have a lot more time to do it, right? Like you just you set the boulder in motion, you you walk into it. It moves a lot slower, so it's kind of a lot harder to notice because it just looks like you're casually walking on the map, looking for an angle. 
Oh my god, and Dio gets there again. It's now 2-1 in favor of Dio. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, did, I, did I say this was going to be unfair? This is... Wow, Dio's really capitalizing right now on some of the mistakes that uh, that Paulie's made. Can't do, can't make any mistakes with Dio. This guy will make you pay for him. always. Two of the top druids in the DFC going up against each other tonight. The technically ranked top druid Polytheus trying to hold on to that spot. I think I think he'll technically hold on to it either way, win or lose. I think technically. I'm not sure though. I would have to check it out. You know what? I should. I should. I'm gonna check this out right now while we wait so we can have actual actual data to determine. What if this was? What if this is top druid match right here? Oh hell no. No, it's yeah, I think Polytheus holds he holds on to it win or lose. Uh, because he currently is uh, eight and five is his record, eight wins, uh, and I believe Dio has six. I believe Dio has six, so yeah, he does. Yeah, Dio has six, so Polytheus holds on to it no matter what. However, however, it gets a little closer. It gets a little closer. Uh, I I want to set up a notification in the rankings where. If two players are playing on the same class and it comes down to their next win would make them the top on that class that they have to go against each other. Like no matter what. Whether that's whether that's two of the same duel back to back. I just think that's cool. Like that that was why Joby and I went up against each other tonight is because we had the I think technically now we have the same amount of wins. I think Technically, now we do. So I would have to check the rankings to see exactly what it is. Maybe Joby's not topped in. Maybe he's not. All right? M maybe I lied. But all all it will take is me losing something and Joby getting a win. Like it's just basically who has more wins in recent history. Oh, yeah, yeah, we talked about that before, too, is, like, it doesn't necessarily matter uh, if you lose to somebody else on your class, right? It's more it's more your overall performance on that class. Like, there might be somebody who's better at playing Sin v. Sin than you, right? They might be better at you than that matchup, but on every other matchup, you're better on a Sin than them. That person shouldn't be considered top Sin just because they can be you're technically a better sin. So that's that's kind of how it's set up. Wow, dude. By the way, Polytheist in a lot of trouble here. Dio looking to make this 3-1. Can he do it? Hard to tell exactly what Dio's life total is. But man, if it's probably low based on, I think, how he's playing. Like, notice he's kind of kicking back a little bit. L like, looking for an angle. He's not getting, like, hyper-aggressive with it. A, you really can't get hyper-aggressive in this matchup. Bam, there it is, baby. And Dio comes in. Making it 3-1, baby. Oh, my God. What a savage. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, he did. He had 150 life. He was super low. He was super low. Good day. Perfect timing from DLC. I, I told you. All it's going to take is somebody who knows how to play a druid eight times better than me. Possibly more. And it might look a little more fair. And, and we're seeing it now. It's 3-1 in favor of uh, Dio on the wind druid. I... Wow. I guess you... I guess you can't judge a match on how cool he plays the match. I mean, we've known that for a while, but... Very nicely done. Oh my god. Oh, nice chain from Dio. Nice little double telly lock. 
And I don't think he really paid for that one. I, I don't think Pauly, like, I, I don't think he got caught with, like, a, a big hit. He might have, though. He might have. It's hard to tell. But it didn't look like he did. Usually you can hear it, and they kind of get knocked back a little bit sometimes, depending. They could get smacked by the bear. They could get hit by the boulder, and you could really tell. But at least it wasn't... It wasn't a risk that Neo was severely punished for. But he does have to be careful chaining. Oh, nice hit from Pauly. That was a direct molten boulder hit. Those do not feel good. But Pauly took a NATO there, too. Losing about 2k life. Ooh. Man. Dio's a different beast, man. Dio's a different beast. Dio was in the chat saying, yeah, this duel is miserable. It's like, I agree, it's impossible. Here he is, 3-1, boys. Duel is now 3-1. That could have been, uh, that, that might have been a, uh, either a near miss or that might have actually connected with that boulder. It's hard to tell. I don't, I'm not exactly familiar with the with the hitboxes and how that feels on Molten Boulder. Probably as much as, oh, that one definitely hit, though. You know, it's certainly not as much as Polytheist is. You know what I mean, though? Like, when you when you cast a, a spell so much, you can tell where the hitbox is. Like, all of, these, all of these animations. Nice hit again with Molten Boulder from Poly. Like, you can kind of tell where the hitboxes for these skills are if you play them enough, if you're familiar enough with them. A lot of times they follow exactly where the, you know, what it looks like on the screen. The Molten Boulder, it's rolling along. It looks like it's going to hit something. It does. But sometimes, like, what if it's rolling sideways and someone's standing slightly above it? Is that still going to hit them? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, how big is the pixel that it, you know, is it is it one row of pixels? Who knows? Like, it's, uh, it, it's certainly interesting. But, um, you can tell Polly is very familiar with it. He's landed a couple back-to-back -back here. Dio probably low based on how he's playing. He's playing back a little bit. He is... He's taking the strategy to probably try to get Polytheus to, uh... To run into some NATOs. What a nail-biter. What a nail biter. Yeah, Dio's certainly low. I'm surprised he escaped that Armageddon hail right there. That was coming down all over the place. Nice moves from Polytheus. You notice that? Like he notices when you're when you're getting an angle on him, he notices when you're cutting him off, and he just he just swaps it around. He just does what he's got to do. Very quick eye. Very keen on recognizing those those situations. Nice stomp from Dio, and he didn't pay for it either. He's not dead. I feel like he's he's probably low on life, so if if he doesn't die, uh, it's, that's a win. That's a, that's a winning exchange. Got to take those risks sometimes. Oh, yeah, he's super low, dude. He's like a sliver of life. And it looks like Polytheus is trying to get the volcano hit on him. He's trying to get the volcano hit. It's it's an always hit in my experience. Oh my god. Nice move from Dio though. I gotta say, Dio just lost there. But that was actually I wouldn't even have thought of that. His angle that he just cut there was so perfect. He didn't stomp him. He didn't try to cut him off. He actually teleported behind him. You know, like right on the other side, where he certainly wouldn't walk. But the, where the only thing that can hit him is Armageddon from that angle. He has to get lucky with a random Armageddon. He, he did in that sense. But Dio played to his outs there. That was beautiful. Dio's a good druid, man. Both these guys are. It's magnificent to watch these dudes go at it. 3-2 currently in favor of Dio. Good dudes helping each other out with a gold. You never know for repairs, potions. It's always good to have a gold find, Barb, guys. If you don't have one, I would highly suggest building one. 
If you're a dueler, I think most good duelers, most most duelers that take it that take it seriously have a have a gold fine bar. I always thought I was I always thought I was original doing that, but a lot of them do. A lot of them do. It's nothing special. It's not really a it's not really a super special build that you're going around trying to magic find with. Probably not even decked out, but a lot of duelers at least have one. It's a good way to re restock that stash. Gold find sin? No shit. Dude, that's awesome. I'd love to see that at some point, man. That sounds cool. Alright, here we go, boys. Round six. Nice hits from Dio. Big hits from Dio right away. Right out the gate here. He's trying to make quick work of this round. Now Polly backing off a little bit, trying to get Dio to come in to this absolute Armageddon hail, fissures and volcanoes, lighting this map on fire. Oh, and he connects with Dio with a molten boulder, the best hit he can connect with. Now, now he's trying to lure Dio into this. You notice him casting these molten boulders and he'll teleport into him now. He's trying to get Dio to chase him a little bit, trying to take advantage of some aggression. Dio's, Dio's got to be careful, even though he hit him big. You can't, you can't get too aggressive with it. I wouldn't think anyway. I would just take it as a, yep, nice hit. Nice hit. Let's reset. Let's pretend you never got hit at all. Because if Polly's alive, Polly's alive, man. It's, it's so hard to hit him. It's so hard to finish him, even at like 100 life. It's so hard to finish him. He he does have that Cyclone armor, and while it doesn't absorb much damage compared to, like, a Wind Druid, it will absorb enough to make it so that your Hurricane really doesn't do anything. Which is the only random effect that Dio would have to, to sort of finish him at a lower life total. So he, could, he has to hit him with Nados. Another potential hit there from Polytheist. Nicely aimed Molten Boulder. Hard to see if it connected. He, he teleported away a little bit, but now now Dio backing off a bit. Now Dio backing off a bit. Got to refill this whiskey, boys. By the way, just want to give another big shout out to Inso and Kyle. Appreciate you guys. We'll give a cheers to you dudes. Appreciate your support. The uh, the memberships, the super chats, they really mean a lot, man. They really mean a lot. Especially right now. Big cheers to you guys. A little bit of hit from Hurricane there, but not much. Ooh. Polytheist made another bad stomp. Didn't think we'd see another one of those in this duel, but he almost got punished for it. This escaped unscathed, but wow. That could have been a lot worse. Ooh. Another perfectly aimed Molten Boulder. And Dio teleports on top of a Volcano. It might seem with a Shaman Druid that it's just all random, right? There is a lot of randomness to the attacks. But when you when you watch someone who really knows what they're doing, it's it's a masterful work of art. Like, look at this. He, he did, uh, Polytheist did catch a NATO there for his troubles, but did you see what he was doing? He was setting up, oh my gosh, he was setting up some nasty stuff. Curly coins for you, my dude. Keep that ship afloat. Big shout out to you, XB Dog. Dude, thank you so much, man, for the, the $10 super chat, dude. Big ups, big cheers to you. That's awesome, man. Really appreciate it. It's uh it, it's going into the it's going into the potential coolie baby daddy fund. That's where we're putting it. And the whiskey. Haven't figured out the portion yet. It all depends on a lot of things. But uh, that's where it's going. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, I'm just seeing your comment too, Max. I have a gold find sin. <laughs> Blade, Blade sin PK. Yeah, yeah, that's a great gold find character. All right, and here it is. Polly ties it up, man. It's now 3-3. Three, three. With both players back on the ropes. How will Dio change this up? No way, dude. Congratulations. Congratulations, man. Another cheers for that. That's awesome.
You probably don't know yet the, the gender, do you? It's probably too early to know. Asking for a friend. That's... Yeah, that's dope, though, dude. Have a little, little XB dog running around. I, I heard it's a life-changing thing. Like, you immediately feel different. Like, your, your life, you can, it, in the moment, just changes. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, good idea, good idea. Fingers crossed for you, man. Sending positive vibes your way. Sorry to hear about that from before. Okay, that's what it is. 20 weeks. Okay. I always wanted a baby girl, dude. A little, little dude would be okay, too. He would be... He'd probably become the number one Din eventually. We'd train him good. But... I always wanted a little girl. I, th I thought it'd be cool. You know, my, my family doesn't have a lot of girls. I feel like that's what I want, you know? That, that would be dope. Little little girl coolie running around. That'd be dope. Oh, big hit from uh, Polytheus. Polytheus is unscathed right now. Dio has been unable to connect, and it looks like he did take a molten boulder there. Perfectly aimed molten boulder from Poly. Dio has probably got his back on the ropes here. I think whereas Dio has been sort of semi-aggressive this entire duel. I think this might be the time. Oh my god, I say that. I, I was going to be like, this might be the time to kick back. I, don't listen to me. Don't listen, don't listen to me. Talk druid theory at all. Oh my god. He just like stomps from across the screen. Boom. He might, he might, have, he might have marrow locked that. That was like, that was long. That already got a name, a sneaky name lock. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hear, Will. Like, right there, it all changes. Cool, Ed. <laughs> Love it. Big damage on Polly, and probably at least a significant amount of damage on Dio. We saw him at least take one Molten Boulder, and those things hurt, man. The thing with Molten Boulder is uh, if you don't have a lot of block, the, the Boulder will knock you back and hit you again. It's such a demoralizing hit, dude. It hits so hard. People were using it in LLD, and uh, if you had like a two-handed weapon, or if you were a barb and you got hit with a molten boulder, it just kept knocking you back, and it would just hit you two or three times. It was insane. Polytheus at about 500 life here, 800 with his oak. Probably one NATO, though. I gotta say, what? probably one well-timed NATO. But Dio, it's hard to tell exactly what he's at, man. It's a close duel. Polly playing back a little bit, trying to take advantage of the aggression of Dio. Now, I would guess this is certainly not the time to be aggressive if you're Dio. I would guess, because Polly's ready for it. Polly's certainly ready for it. He's playing around it. Like, he's ready. He's looking for these angles. He's setting up these molten boulders. CT casting away. Really trying to lure Dio into danger. I wonder if that was purposeful. Casting molten boulder into a puddle. Because it blows it up immediately. So that, like, if you stomp, there's just that explosion. I wonder if that was purposeful. I don't see why that would be I don't see necessarily why it's a huge deal oh my god nice nice stomp from Dio but couldn't quite finish perfectly timed though That's true. Remove the summons, probably cut through the uh, the cyclone armor pretty easily. And I'm not sure if the explosion does physical damage too. It's hard to tell unless you like get a direct hit from the boulder. I don't know. These are all things I don't know about those skills. 
Very in-depth mechanics. Polytheus lighting the ground on fire, dude. Dio might be a little low on mana. That or he's just waiting for an angle, being patient, conserving his mana for opportune moments just like that. Oh, that was a nice hit. I think that was a nice hit from Polly. It was a very nicely aimed Molten Boulder. Oh my God, boys. Oh my God. And Dio does it. Dio does it. I thought Dio was going to lose that, man. He caught, he caught a Molten Boulder very early on for what I can only imagine was pretty significant damage. And that's going to be a demoralizing way to start against a Fire Druid, knowing that their goal is just to grind you down over time. Yeah, Dio had one mana pot left. Oh my god, nicely done, man. Nicely done. That was insane. I am impressed. I, I thought that was unwinnable. Uh, but I'm learning, I'm just... I'm a little behind Dio on the on the wind rune. Just just a little bit, slightly. I'm probably close, you know, close. But certainly, certainly far behind. That's that's nuts. I'm so curious. Dio, can you show us? Can you stream and show us what you use for that? Uh, Cuz we were trying to figure it out. We were we were really trying to figure it out, like the perfect setup, how to go about it. It, it seemed like you did pretty well. Like, you were able to hang on. You had enough mana. You had uh, just pretty good defenses, man. I'm, I'm very curious about that. 85% res. Yep. One dwarf. Yep. Yeah, yeah, GG. Can you do 85 and one dwarf? Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Fire, fire res. Fire res rules. Uh, percent absorbed from items. Here, I'll show you. That's what we're looking at. Percent absorbed from items plus max resistance may not exceed 95 when added together. So 85 plus 15 is 100. Uh, exception, paladins, barbarians, and necros may use 85, 15 max sorb when dueling a pure fire sorceress. I don't think it mattered that much, to be completely honest. But what we'll do, we'll give Polly a second chance. We'll give Polly a second chance. If he happens to lose on second chance, I'm going to give Polly a win for it. That's how we'll remedy it. I think it was a very good duel. But I don't think it should hold Polly back. So what we'll do, that's how we'll remedy it because technically it is against the rules. But I will say this, from someone that was dueling on a Wind Druid that used BM Absorb, it didn't matter that much. Like, it, I, I know for a fact it didn't matter that much. Like, it didn't, it really probably didn't make or, bake, make or break the duel. Yeah. But it is, it's technically against the rules, so that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Let me, uh, let me, let me pop over to Dio's point of view here. Let's check this out. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was slightly over the cap. Slightly over the cap. No worries, though. No worries. What we'll do? We'll we'll give we'll give Polly a second chance. If he doesn't get it, no worries. I'm, I'm just gonna give Polly a win too. Oh, 80 max. Oh, okay. Never mind. If you were only 80 max. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Water walks, yeah, okay. Alright. 
Interesting. So he went with it. He went with a caster helm. He went with SS. Interesting. What what is the helm again? I put some nice stuff on this guy. Oh, GG. Oh, look at that, dude. Life and fire res on the helm. And it's called Armageddon Hood, too. It's just like a perfect name for it. Look at that Ami, dude. Nasty fire res there. I think Polly only uses negative five in this matchup. Negative five percent resist. I figured it out the hard way. Overstacking wasn't too wasn't too like beneficial. Yeah, yeah, no no worries. I, I figured as much, Polly. It started like glitching out. Your your thing started glitching out. I figured it'd either crash or something. GG man. So he went. What was the what was the total DR? Was it a Baird Storm Shield for 50% DR too? Well, honestly, Dio, we oh yeah, so he did. He had he had 51% DR. Honestly, I was playing with Hot Spurs and a Dwarf Star, and the fire damage was still pretty significant. Like, well, I guess at that point I didn't have much DR on, but I was still getting hit pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, it was it was crazy. It, it just... Uh, fire damage works so much differently with Cyclone Armor, dude. Like, it, it works so much differently. It, it just blows Cyclone Armor up. Yo, what's up, Dan? I was under the impression you can't rock absorb on Druid with max Cyclone Armor. Interesting. Let me double check this. I remember something like that from the past, too. I, I think we did away with it, though. You cannot use Raven Frost versus Cold Sorceresses. That's a thing. Can't use Raven Frost versus Cold Sorceresses. So, yeah, that's that's probably what you were thinking about. Yeah, right now he's hitting him with Hot Spurs and Dwarf on. It still does damage, but, like, not much when you have DR. He's getting healed from the fire. Or maybe he is. He's getting healed when his uh, Cyclone Armor absorbs most of it, and he only takes a little. Yeah, there was a point where he healed, but it quickly started turning around. Yeah, yeah, so so they, they can use Absorb. It's just like any other character. Like, they could, they could go 80 max, 15 Absorb. Yeah, you can't triple stack and double stack with certain characters. With certain characters. We did have an overarching rule about that at one point. Um, let me see, though. I think we kept it... Yeah. Yeah, like certain characters can't double stack. So, like, a, a Necro can't double stack, a Sin can't double stack. So, like, you can't go T-Gods and... Uh, hot spurs. Like, if someone diversifies their damage that much, you're just basically nerfing everything. At that point, I think the rule is just saving someone from themselves. Like, you haven't... You're kind of nerfing your build so much to some degree where you're, you're, you're probably cutting your offense more than you need to. Yeah, GG though, man. That was a cool match. What a good match. I'm so happy we got to see that, man. That was insane. All right, well, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's cut over. Let's give Polly a second chance. This guy's been so patient, man, waiting for this, waiting for this duel. Let's give Polly a second chance against the Din. And see what he's got. I think we're still waiting for literally anyone. Uh, if you are ready, though, just pop into the join the stream channel. I do see a few people in there. 
uh, you know, I see Brand. Uh, Max got his win. Dio's got his win. Uh, but, yeah, if you are ready, just pop in there. Just let me know at least, like, you're on deck and ready to go. Because what we can do is if you're ready and your opponent's not, no worries. We'll do some spontaneous matches and count them. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be, but you never know. You never know, man. This this din is something special. Did we miss Duke's matchup? Is 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 Duke doing it? Is Duke doing his match tonight? All right. We've got to do this right. If I'm going up against Polly, we got to do it right. WSUP bud, as always, just support bud. Just small reminder, 80 people watching and only 40 like. Come on, good people. We oh can my. do better than that smiley face. How's oh. the kick-ass dueling come along? <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> Sledgehammer, my dude, thanks so much for the 20. Bro, big cheers to you, man. Big cheers, and he's right. He's right. I don't exactly know what hitting the like button does anymore, but I'm already in. I'm already in on this, bro. Y'all should be too. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, what would I do against Polly? First, we gotta, we gotta clear all of this stuff. We gotta clear this. We gotta put, we gotta put some of these back. We use these versus Joby. They almost panned out. I thought we had a pretty good counter. It was a pretty good duel. We almost got there, but we didn't quite. We just missed it. We just missed it. Uh, I'm not going to retoken for this tool. No shot. Uh, but what I will do, what I will do, I'll probably go full on grief. We'll probably put this over here. Uh, we will go with the bow, I think. We will go with the bow. Resistance is on this side. Magic absorb. I want to be able to smack hard with hammers. Massive life. We got to make sure we have the fire res. So let's do... Ideally, we would have boots with fire res, life leech. All the goods. That's what we want. Uh, I think we actually need these boots, don't we? Yeah, that's certainly what we need. Double Baird COA. String of Ears. Maybe not Double Baird COA. Oh no, this is what we use versus Polly. We use this for the Life Leech. I remember now. Different amulet. That's a good amulet. Massive fire res on this one. Uh, Drax. We gotta make sure our cast is on point, though. Our cast may be a little bit sus. I think we have to get it from the rings. I think we have to give up the, uh, the nature's piece for a, a life leech cast ring. I think that's ideal. There we go. That's exactly what we want. That is exactly what we want. Resist is not good enough, actually. Yeah, we're gonna need to... Gonna need to put some fire resist in here. So let's do it like this. That should be more than enough. And we might actually have enough room. We'll stack, just in case he rips our resistances away. We'll, we'll stack up a little bit more. But then we'll go, uh, we'll put some mana charms in here. Put some good old mana charms in. Perfect. I think that I think that's how we go. I think that's how we go. Uh yeah, I I was going to use the uh All right, I'm going to set zeal up like this. We're going to go We're going to set this. We're going to set meditation to 9. We're going to set zeal on X. 
so that we can quickly switch to it if need be. Up smite, chain telly, chuck the hams. Hams are doing 10k. We gotta get rid of the we gotta get rid of the juves. Yes. Alright, second chance for myself and Polly. Second chance, baby. We both got our back against the ropes. It's not looking great for us. We suffered a loss. But that's okay. Here, actually, let me uh, let me clear some of these out. Let's put these in the right spot. Good enough. Uh, open wounds build, yeah. Uh, basically, the, we we have something similar. We do the we do the poison every once in a while, which is just as good, if not in some cases, better than open wounds. Um. Open Wounds is really cool. It, it is. It's similar to Poison, though. It will always take your opponent to one, so you got to have a way to finish. Um, it's still very tough against Druids. You know, there's... I feel like all of the... If you have an Open Wounds build, it's kind of good as, an, as like an ancillary effect than it is to base your entire build around it. I would almost rather stack up like 25-35% Open Wounds. And do actual damage with something else and just hope that open wounds goes off because it's just as good you know what i mean and then you you don't nerf your damage at all yeah good duels man that was sick that was very fun to watch i gotta say we should have 75 casts let me double check on this we do we got 75 cast we got 85 resist we've got 43 percent dr not ideal but it's something all right I lost against Joby. We're going to go for a second chance here. Go for a second chance against Polytheus. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves. Polytheus trying to redeem himself. But this is this is a matchup I've beaten Polly before uh, with this Nin. Like this. So hopefully hopefully I'm on my game and I can do it again. Well, we're going to see though. Ready, Polly? Second chance, baby. Let's do it. Go, bro. He's still tapped. Can't get a clean hit on him, though. There we go. Just a little chip damage. There we go. I needed a bear hit there, bad. Damn, bro. He got rid of the bear. He got rid of the bear when I was low. That was smart. We can't we can't get that low. We we can't let ourselves get that low without trying to leech back off the bear. We need to be opportunistic with the bear hits and just try not to go below 75% without trying to heal. I, I think we tried to play too we tried to play too much on the hammer side. We gotta be we gotta be aggressive with that charge. He also has an answer to that though, too. 
Like, his answer is, when he sees me going for the bear, he just recasts the bear, and it takes the target away. It, it's, it's pretty smart. That way, he always has the meat shield for the hammers. Very, very smart. It's a, it's a tough duel, dude. How much life leech do we have? We have, uh... We have 35% life leech. All right. 1-0 for Polly. There we go. Healed up. No more bear for me. This ain't good. No way. GG. All right. I think uh, I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I notice I'm hitting with the bow whenever I want to, and I don't think he's too scared of the bow. The bow isn't doing anything significant right now. Uh, I need to make it do something significant. Where did I die? Up here. Word weird. Was that was I all the way up there? I, I swear I was so much further down than that. Weird. Alright, I'm gonna try something a little different. We're down we're down 2-0 right now. We're down 2-0. It ain't no thang, it ain't no worries. We just need to present some different threats. I think I know what I'm going to do. Really missing that 451 I gave to Duke. <laughs> it's all right. We should be able to get there without it. All right. What's the, what's the poison damage looking like? Only 6k. We got to do something about that. 451, 451, 451. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. All right, that's a little better. That's a little better. This will this will certainly do something now. Just use some of that sauce in your stash, the purple pots. That's true. I didn't think of that. I should have used those versus you in the hotel, Shirley. That's what I really needed. I totally forgot I had those. I'm 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 just saying I'm I was just saying I was drunk. I was drunk. That's what it was. No, nah, no, nah, I think I was just drunk. Yeah, you know. Was it, it, I'm usually really good on a Necro. Probably top Necro material. You know? But I had a lot of whiskey. Otherwise, that would have been mine.
There we go, baby. Full heal. I think we hit him there. Good angle. He's got some nasty PLR, dude. Oh, dude, I still have grief on. That's why I'm not doing much poison damage. Oops. Thank God for that life tap. Good duel. All right, yeah, we fucked up with grief, man. That's a, uh, we fucked up with grief. Not in town. Cuz we nailed so many arrows there, it wasn't even funny. I was like, "Why why are my why are my arrows doing anything?" I hit him with like I don't know, 6 or 7 arrows and he wasn't one. I was like, "What?" That's why though. That's why. Damn. Okay. Okay, just something we got to we got to remember. So, yeah, I think we switched to Astreons for a 10k ham.
Yeah, this is probably where it's at. Holy shit, dude. What a slaughter fest. All right. Let's try it out. Okay, he's won. GG, holy shit, dude. That was close. Yeah, it, it does a lot better. The poison does a lot better when you don't have grief. I was like, man, how's my poison so bad? Now he's got the bear up. GG, boys. Is this going to be the comeback of the century right here? Is this going to be comeback of the century?
Two three, baby. Two three. We're not doing a lot of up zealing. We do have the life leech though. It's still life leech still works pretty good. Like on our bow side, we have what? How much life leech? We've got I guess 35 on the bow side. Yeah, so it's still pretty good if we hit a pet with a bow. It's not horrible. You get you get less life leech off of that. But like, yeah, bow is where it's at. Bow's keeping us safe. We're getting there. We have extremely low life though. That's sort of the trade-off at this point. I think he's probably going to switch to some PLR setup, though. And if he does... We're going to have to be careful. Oh, he's turning it up, dude. Oh, my God! Damn. Bringing the thunder. Two more. Let's go. One more now, Kyle. One more now, baby. Dude, big cheers to that, man. Thank you so much, brother. Oh, my God. Boys, come back of the century. We, we didn't even shoot one arrow. We didn't shoot one arrow that duel. We got we got lucky with that hammer field. Oh my god. <laughs> Big goal, Darius. My dude, thank you so much. Big cheers to you. You guys are too kind. Darius, that's awesome, man. Two cheers for that, brother. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm not sure how much that is in USD, but it looks big. It's a big number. That's amazing. Much appreciated, brother. It's interesting how long it lasts. I have 50% uh, PLR, he said. Wow. All right, there we go, baby. We just tagged him, I think, with some nasty poison. Just gotta let it do its thing. Ouch, dude. Holy shit. fucking duel man oh my god oh my god got him with that bow pk at the end oh my god i was so low the comeback for 4-3 <laughs> oh man come back of the century boys that was insane that was insane. We made a little bit of switch ups there. We had to switch the strategy a little bit, but god damn. GG, Polly. That was nuts, man. Yeah, if y'all want to see the y'all want to see the setup with this. This is what we went with. One hit from arrow was like 90% after poison. Yeah, yeah. I figured it would be. I figured it I figured it might be. 
It don't take many arrows. It don't take many. Yeah, we had a ton of 451s, even with 50 PLR. Yeah, I think you need like 150 PLR uh, against all of this. It's like 150 PLR. Don't even worry about the max poison res. A lot of like my honest suggestion, dude, I, I actually give up on poison if a character has access to cleansing. Like it just shuts it right down. So like there's a lot of duelers. There's a lot of duelers now that are packing uh, that are packing a, a plague in their stash. Basically for my den, let's be let's be real, but it works like it, it works. It, it just gives you the aura. It, you can stack up 150 PLR or even 75 is enough with plague. And like it just shuts it down. You still get hit. It's like, you know, maybe five or ten percent. But like it's it's not like a nasty, vicious take your take your life to nothing hit. Like it's it's crazy. But yeah, yeah. So we went with the Astreons. We have to we have to use Astreons instead of Grief because when you have poison damage, if you have Venom cast, like it's it's bad news. Like you don't want that to happen. Yeah, I think so too, man. Uh, dude, when if you don't pick one up by the time ladder resets, I just roll uh, just rolled one on ladder that I don't need, and it's like plus two to skills. I think it's only I think it's only thirteen cleansing, but I don't think that affects the duration much. You can have that one, but you can, I think you can make them on non ladder now too. So like there is that, but yeah, we went with the Astreons. This is the, this is the best Astreons that I have massive damage, massive, you know, damage plus plus four to skills crushing blow too. the interesting thing about this, about Astreons, when you shoot a bow, right? If you shoot an arrow, Right, so like, let's say I'm out here, I shoot an arrow, and then I swap back to Astreons. If that arrow hits, not only is it doing all of that poison damage, but it's also doing, uh, it, it's doing the slow, like slows target by 25%. It's doing that. It has the 33% chance of crushing blow. So that arrow can be can hit viciously hard. Like it's it's insane. You guys ready to go? All right, GG. I'll just show this off real quick. Yeah, we got a we got a, a chammed gaze here for the life leech and DR, two twenty fire res ammy, Enigma Drax mainly for the life leech, life leech on the ring, life leech on the other ring, life leech on the belt, and uh, you know high fire res. But man, as you can see, it really doesn't matter much, dude. Like you get hit with that fire, it fucking hurts. But different strategy than what we used the last time that we dueled Polly. Last time we were basically just relying on the life leech a lot. And uh, this time we weren't so much. We were more relying on the poison. Both equally as effective, uh, I think. You know, if you if you can do it. But he he started pushing the pressure. He started pushing the pressure, and that made it hard for me to get shots off. So that was that was interesting. Um, I think a very good call. He almost had me. I, I was probably one one or two Armageddon hits away. Like it was it was bad. Like that that was certainly the strategy. He picked up on that pretty damn quick. Like. Yep, just push the pressure. He's not he's not chucking hammers. He kept the bear up. Like that was it was very interesting. You see how he adapted to like everything I did. That was so crazy. Yeah, Pauly says. It'd be different next time as well. <laughs> uh it's cool to see it change so much between our duels. Dude, I completely agree, man. Like it, our our duels, I think, are super fun. I remember the first time I dueled with Pauly. I lost so bad and I couldn't figure out the fire druid. I was like, what do I have to do? Like, what, what's going on? It just seems so unwinnable. It felt like me today on the druid. Like, it felt like me today on the druid. I just couldn't figure it out. I'm like, this, this feels miserable. And then you have Dio go in, you know what I mean? He just plays different. He just has a different style, different, different approach. That's all it takes. Sometimes just switch it up. It's still a tough matchup, dude. That fire druid is nasty. Yeah, by the way, P Money, we watching. We checking this out. We waiting. We waiting for this epic showdown between P Money and Abrasive. Who's your money on, boys? If you was a betting man, who would you place it on? I think I've got an idea. I'll give you my prediction right after this.
In this corner, we've got P-Money on the Zon. This guy looking like a million bucks. Absolute savage Zon skills. One of those OG Zon players with those skills that can walk you down and he can aim the jabs, chuck them at you with pinpoint accuracy. This guy is a savage. And let alone those bow skills. They'll just make you cry when you get cracked by that stuff, man. They hurt. He hits like a truck. So we're going to find out if he has what it takes to take on Abrasive Party tonight. Now, my official prediction, all right? This could go either way. This could go either way. I think I'm going to say 55% in favor of P-Money if he does it right. I think P-Money if he does it right. My thought would be that P-Money will likely use Strafe when the Sin comes in, uh, depending on what the Sin does, right? So if Abrasive Party is a hybrid Sin and has w access to Whirlwind, that could be a little different. I'm not 100% sure what, what Abrasive Party's uh, character looks like, but if it's a pure Trapper, I'm going to say I, I, my, my money's on P-Money. It was so close, dude. It was 4-3, and I had him down to one hit in the final round, dude. It was very close. Very close. Very close. Good duel, man. Uh, Joby, I'm not sure if you gave me some of those rounds or what, but, uh, dude, it felt good. That duel felt really good, man. That duel felt awesome. It felt good not to, if I, like, if I was going to lose, to not get obliterated, dude. Like, it felt It felt good. I'm, I'm hoping it's because I leveled up and you didn't feel bad for me. Joby's Joby's Canadian, so he's he's got a kind heart, uh, and he feels bad for people. So there's there's a chance, is all I'm saying, is Joby's like, I'm going to smash him, so I'll just give him a couple rounds. There's a chance. I don't think that was the case, though. I don't think that was the case. I had some nasty stomps up in there, some cutting some good angles, some surprise hits, surprise setup. Not what Joby expected for that setup. Joby says he was impressed by my performance. That is Canadian for uh nice job. That's that's Canadian for nice job. Yeah, very good duel, man. It, it felt good to be a part of. Like see, there's certain duels. You guys have seen me get tilted with duels before. You lose a duel, it's tilting. It feels bad. It feels bad when you like when you duel and the duel is miserable i don't feel like that duel was miserable like it, it was back and forth there was strategy there was angles it's constant thinking on behalf of both players it just seems so it's fun p money these guys aren't even hostile it would <laughs> it wouldn't be dfc he says there it is abrasive abrasive is correct it happened. It finally happened. We were wondering when. We were just wondering when it was gonna when it was gonna go down. If it, it finally happened. All right, let's get some old school DFC theme going for this, boys. Let's do it. Uh, does Stink still duel? I'll watch some of his videos. Dude looks very strong. Eh, he's aight. He's aight. He's okay. He's he's okay. Yeah, he 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 used to duel in DFC a little bit. He's he's sort of been MIA for a while. But yes, very good, very good. Uh, one of those classic sin players. Uh, he certainly prefers the sin. Uh, was not a big fan of the no pools rule that we recently instituted. Was not a big fan. Oh, look at this, dude. Look at this. And P Money's got the answer, dude. Okay, so this is what's going on. Oh my God. He's gotta get out of there now. He's lower res. He's gotta get out of there. Sin using a plague, bro. I need mana. That's insane. So this is, this is what's happening right now. So the Sin does have, Abrasive Party does have Whirlwind. He is doing that. Uh, so that's gonna make that's gonna make P Money think twice about the strafe getting stuck in strafe lock. 
Uh, but to counter that, what P Money has done is left a trail of uh, of poison jabs waiting right there, right in front of him, waiting for Abrasive Party to teleport in in Whirlwind because it almost guarantees that he's going to get poisoned. Now, that being the case, Abrasive Party is wearing Plague, which is going to significantly reduce that poison length. But you can see it's done some serious damage already. You might see P Money try to finish with the bow. Maybe even expend most of his mana pots on multi here. Because now he's lower res again. P money very low. Trying the Telly Boa approach. His back's on the ropes, man. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. Just trying to stay alive. I need mana. Trying to get a good angle here. This is a nail biter, man. Oh my God. P money hanging on for dear life. But he doesn't quite get there. That was close, man. I think uh, I think that duel might have been a little different. I don't believe P Money knew he was lower res. I think it came as a surprise in that moment when P Money caught that whirlwind, uh, or w when he was in that exchange with Abrasive Party and that curse went off. I think he assumed that was life tap. I don't think he knew he was lower res. Yeah, that was a good duel, man. Poison's on versus Plague Sin. Love to see it. Damn straight, man. I I, I know you're probably a little bit sarcastic, Maddie, but I actually like this. I actually like this. This is a good one. Slight, slight sarcasm on Maddie's point. Yeah. Maddie is, Maddie is what we call lactose intolerant. And there's a lot of things Maddie considers cheese or dairy products with builds. But let me tell you, I love seeing it. It's the originality. It's the new era. It's the new era, boys. The title of this week's DFC episode, a new era, a new top den. We got a new champion in Root, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Root, the new DFC champion. And we've got a, just a new era of builds, a new era of players, a new era of strategies and styles and fast paced duels, man. There's been no duels tonight that have been hyper late, super long lasting. Ooh, ooh, look at that. P Money trying to bait him in. There he goes. He got him. He got him with some poison. And it doesn't look like Abrasive Party has cannot be frozen either. That's interesting. Oh, big hits from Abrasive Party. That was a big opportunity right there. Uh, Assassin stuck in whirlwind animation. Those are the times you're going to see P Money absolutely punish him with guided arrows. He's he's going to try to take advantage of the aggression here of uh, of abrasive party. And the second that he whirlwinds more than he should, overextends himself. You're probably going to see him pound him with guided arrows as much as he can, as much as he comfortably can. Man, Abrasive Party might be in trouble. It's hard It's hard to see exactly his life total. Let me see if he's streaming too. We can pop over to that point of view. I don't see him streaming. But yeah, I, I would guess... I would guess he's getting a little bit... He, he's, he's backing off a little bit. He's looking for a better angle. Because he is getting nailed with these poison jabs, with these very, uh, you know, perfectly timed guided arrows when he's going in. When he's going in, when he overextends on that whirlwind, he's really paying for it. Uh, is FHR still a thing? Wake of Fire, etc.? Yeah, not so much. 
Not so much, dude. Uh, it still is a thing to some degree, but it's not like it used to be. You can't like perpetually lock somebody down anymore, which I kind of like. Um, it's better than it used to be, in my opinion. Oh my god, dude, and P-Money gets there with a beautiful Telly Boa strategy at the end of that. I like that. He was low on life, and he knew he had to keep the distance. Let's go, P-Money. Well, like I said, if I was a betting man, that's where my money would be. But that was before I knew Abrasive Party had access to that whirlwind, and he was rocking the plague. That's a clutch call. I, I really like that. This could go either way. Yeah, Wake of Fire certainly dead, dude. Like, it it was so close to being dead before because of the damage that it did. It was only good for the stun before. Uh, but now that you can't perpetually stun somebody, Wake of Fire is just dead skill in PvP. Yeah, he's certainly one of the homies, man. He's good. Yeah, yeah, because you get the stun and you get the damage too. I think that's the new way to do it. Like, it's the, that's the new best way to stun people is with skills that stun them and do damage. Like, because if you, you know, if you have very good PvP skills, you can capitalize on it, right? You might be able to get another hit in there while they're stunned. Uh, but at least you're doing damage. Stun without anything to back it up is practically pointless now. So, like, spamming Mind Blast so much, practically pointless. The only way you would spam Mind Blast is if you're trying to... If you're just trying to late your way out of an easy kill on somebody and just Mind Blast them to death. You know, for 20 to 40 damage every time. Like, some people do that. Some people do it. Yeah, this pre-buff right here, man. This is this is very interesting. He's doing a cube bow pre-buff. So he has, you know, because he's a he's an Amazon. So he's taking advantage of both javelins and the bow and arrow, right? So he's using both of those on each side of his weapon swap. Because of that, though, he has to use his cube in his inventory so he can swap out for call to arms, so he can cast battle orders. But he also has a weapon in there called Demon Limp. Uh, and he's going to cast that to use it for its enchant charges to up his attack rating. The reason he does that is so that when he shoots multi-shot, there's a better chance that his investment of mana from that skill is actually going to connect with his opponent. Because uh, that's the only skill here where this that actually matters uh, on the AR is, is multi-shot. Yeah, insane. Insane, though. A lot of, a lot of people... Oh, yeah, and he's switching out the rings, too. Switches out the rings, like, for SOJs, uh, Amulet for Maras, just because those give plus one to all skills, which will boost up your battle orders. Nice angle there from Abrasive Party. Couldn't quite clutch it. Oh, big impale from P-Money, dude. Big impale. Now, impale is really bad for Abrasive Party, because that's going to slow his attack speed down drastically. That's going to make his... Look at his trap laying speed. It's so slow. His whirlwind speed is going to be slowed down a little bit, affecting the damage per second. That impale was a big hit. Now, it only lasts for so long, though, so P-Money has to capitalize on it. Toshank, you dueling tonight? You dueling Max tonight? I've been looking forward to that duel, man. Sin v. Sin, no pools. I'm actually, I'm actually really curious as to how it's going to go. Big Dodger, damn it. That's too bad. I was in your country last week, man. Good old Canadian. I think I'm still like seven hours away from you, but... Chilling, chilling out with Maddie and Jobby. And Shirley. I, I said Shirley. I said Shirley. Shirley was MVP. Oh, Shirley, you missed it, bro. You missed it. As soon after you left, Maddie saved a small family, bro. Maddie's a hero. Look, I always knew Maddie was cool. I was like, ah, he's, he's a good dude. I feel like Maddie's the type of dude that's got your back, right? Guy saved a small family on the streets. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. We were we were witnessing this guy basically stalking somebody, like following this chick and her kids, like late at night. 
And she, we were just like walking alongside of them. We were all like in this group. And like, oh, what's, what's going on with the stream? What's going on here? Oh, uh, well, anyways. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was crazy, dude. Like, this girl asked, like, hey, stop following us. Like, turned around with us right there. So she wanted somebody to hear it. Says, stop following me, blah, 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 talking to this guy. So he, like, backs off a little bit. And then he fucking catches up later on. And Maddie hears this girl say something like, don't touch me or something. Maddie turns around, six foot four, dude. Turns around. And he's just like, bro, what the fuck, man? And then just like, jo Joby turns around. So you got two six foot four twins staring at you. And like, that's all it took. Maddie was just like, dude, just leave her alone, dude. And like, you don't want to fuck with Maddie. You know what I mean? I was like, what a, what a hell of a guy. Now, see, he didn't. He didn't turn around until the five foot seven topped in, looked him straight in the eye and said, walk the other way. I thought, he might have thought he could take Maddie, you know, but the five foot seven dude that turned around with the sunglasses. No shot. No shot. But without without Maddie. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. Arena hoodie. There was, there was something about it. Something about it. But no, no, in all seriousness, though, dude, all Maddie, like, that was really cool. I thought that was really respectable, dude. Respectable guy. Really, it, 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 it like, takes a, a, takes a brave soul to do that. You know what I mean? You never know. You never know what people are doing. It, it could be... You, you might have saved somebody there, dude. She, like, hightailed it out of there after that, which is really cool. Yeah, I wouldn't have stood a chance, dude. No shot. Dude, uh, okay, so I'm still seeing, uh, I'm still seeing abrasive, or I'm sorry, P Money stream is paused. Hold up, I'm gonna try to reconnect. He might have crashed. He might have crashed. Like, let me pop into Dio stream. You're like, yeah, see, I can see Dio's stream, but like, if I go, if I try to pop into P Money's, it just does this. Stream pause. Toe Shank jamming it up though. Look at that. Man, I hope we get to see it. I think I think P Money crashed, dude. To be completely honest. I think he crashed. He minimized D2R. Oh, okay. That's what that's what happens when you minimize D2R. But I don't know, dude. He was like in the middle of the Blood More dueling, right? Wasn't he? I have no idea. Technical difficulties. Abrasive party. Where are you at, bro? Stream it if you can. We'll pop into your perspective. If you guys are still dueling or something. Not sure what's going on with this one. Something a little wonky. I would guess he crashed. That's like, that's my guess. Like something happened. Well, that's what it says, but it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Not answer. Yeah, he's not answering on Discord, right? Like, it, like the timing of it doesn't make any sense that he would have minimized. Aimbot died. <laughs> nah, dude. If if P Money had Aimbot, he wouldn't spam multi shot so much. All right. It would just be straight off screen guided. He shoots multi-shot way too much for someone to have auto aim. Let's be serious. Oh, he did? Okay. No, no, he's, he's certainly not. He's certainly not. We joke around. Dude, no, it's very obvious if someone's using, like, Gmod. It used to be back in LOD. Like, especially if you watch their screen. I watched the screen and I might actually have the video. I'm going to try to hunt this down at some point. I might actually have the video of somebody using Gmod. Like somebody popped into the server, which it was actually kind of cool of them because they didn't know if like I was kind of just had started up at the time. They didn't know if I would like, you know, if we would ban them or shun them for using, you know, showing off mods in, in LOD. This guy had full Battle.net Gmod like 
juck fuckery and he was just showing it off all of his little rejuvenation potions like if you if you went into your stash and you looked at a rejuvenation potion it was a beer like it had switched the graphic to a beer it had all of these lists like it had this overlay on it that would be like uh these are the people that you're hostile to this is their percent life it like drew a line to their location and it would auto aim on them and shit it was kind of cool to watch man not gonna lie like he he would have a script where like you could just hit a button and you if you were hammered in let's say and it would just it would keep trying to telly stomp and hammer the the target like it wasn't just auto aim it was like telly stomp hammer telly stomp hammer like it, it was crazy it was kind of cool to watch oddly enough not unbeatable but fun to watch i was impressed okay you guys are about to start let me pop over to that dude yeah, not sure what's going on with this match, but uh, we get to see Toshank. Toshank versus, man. This is Toshank versus Max for a Sin v. Sin matchup of two absolute goats going at it. It's going to be fun. Going to be interesting. Hello. Sin v sin, no mana, yes. Yeah, or no no mana pools. Yep. TVT, no mana pools. Peace skull and a hell rune. I got you, bro. I got you, toe. I'll pop in, I got you, bro. Uh, hold up. I gotta join up on Max, I think. Peace skull. Let's see what I got. Oh, shit. I don't have a peace skull. She yeah. I, I guess it's on ladder. It's on ladder. Never mind. Shit, I thought I had one, bro. Sorry. You have one? Oh, sweet. I, I, I might have a hell rune, though. Somewhere. Yeah, I got a hell rune, though. If you need that. Oh, he's got it. He's got it already. All right, cool. Sick, man. Sick. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out, boys. This is going to be an epic matchup between two absolute goat savages. And we're going to see how it's going to go. What do you guys think? Who's going to win? Who's your money on? Let's place your bets. Comes you. In this corner, we've got Toshank, the absolute legend, previous DFC champion, and if we would have had class rankings back in the day, this guy could have easily been top sin of his time <coughs> and i mean easily there's very few people that can beat this guy on any class let alone a sin but does max have what it takes i don't believe we've ever seen this matchup let me check let me check it'd be easy enough to check let's see if we've ever seen it in the dfc toshank has he ever gone against NYC Maxim? He has not. This is a first. This is a first right here, boys. First matchup in the DFC ever between these two Titans. Who's going to win under the new DFC rules of no mana pools? All the mana pots you want to carry with you. But no mana pools, TVT, with Max probably having a very interesting trap build. I would imagine he's going to try to surprise Toshank in the same way that he surprised Tay PK. We're going to see, though. Perhaps Toshank will uh, will punish him for it. You never know. You never know. Toshank will probably play a little differently than, uh, than say, a Paladin would in the matchup, though. Usually, in Sin v. Sin, it's the Sin that gets overly aggressive first that risks losing. But now that the time is sort of limited with how much mana pots you have, eventually something's got to happen. 
There we go, boys. Official hostile. It happened twice. We got two for the price of one this this event. Toshank didn't take much damage at all from that trap. I'm wondering if it was a low roll or if he's going to be out damaging Max here. Look at this. Just slowly. I love it. He's budging his mana, walking around the outside, setting a trap, trying to lure Max into it. Smart, dude. This is smart. I mean, it's basically the same duel. It's basically the same duel. Less telling. More strategy, less telling. I like it. Nice, nice hidden little five stack right there. Toshank, not at all worried about this damage. Not at all worried about it. Look at this. No, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think, I, oh yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's LR'd right now. He's about to be more, a little more worried. He does have fade though, so the curse might not last that long. He's he's kind of kicking back a little bit right now, just to like wear off that lower resist. Yeah, because Max certainly does have uh, plague, which is very interesting. It did get some damage in there, but still not a very significant amount. Toshank did a good job of avoiding much damage from these exchanges. That one though, that one hurt. That one beam from that trap hurt more than all of the 20 he's been hit with so far. That's just that's just the random rolls on these traps, man. They're ridiculous. Max has cyclone armor. Oh yeah, okay. So he's probably using uh, he is probably using his little trick. He's trying to do his trick. Max has cyclone armor because he's using infinity, uh, and he's gonna switch to infinity to try to punish Toshank when he comes in. But unfortunately, Toshank is getting the better of these exchanges. Toshank getting some nasty damage in, dude, and narrowly avoiding some vicious damage of Max right there. He's too quick, man. He's too quick. He's pinching him in, dude. He's trapping him in that corner. Max trying to lure Toshank into an absolute death trap. I think that's where he's at right now. He says his shot is to lure Toshank into all of these five stack traps here with an infinity uh, and absolutely smash him with uh, with damage all at once. Surprise hit, you're dead. I think that's what he's trying for. Toshank remaining evasive here, even at close range. Oh, with the kicks too, and Toshank takes round one. Now boys, that's Sin v Sin. How, how long was that round up? Boys, holy shit, that, that round lasted like under, under an hour. That, this is, this is the first in DFC history. First in DFC history, <laughs> the Sin v Sin round. It was, it was probably like a five minute duel. I was sick. Yeah, that was that was good, man. That was good. Oh, Toshank, Toshank had to play like that, like you know, because if he if he teleported into Max's traps, he had to play around them, because the way that Max is setting up his characters, he has, uh, you know, you might have seen the Cyclone armor that Shirley pointed out. Like he I has an infinity that he's not only getting that Cyclone armor charges for, but he he also has that negative fifty five to enemy light res, which does apply to traps now. So that on top of conviction, if Toshank teleports in to Max's little area there, he 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 just can't do it. He's gonna get cooked real quick, uh, especially if he gets hit with that lower res aura from Max's plague on his other hand. Like this is a Sunder Sin. Max has a Sunder Sin. It's no longer a Trapper. This is a Sunder Sin. Whole new a whole new build. He's trying to rip his opponent's resistances away. This is insane. Well, I mean, we were just talking about Max and his absolute creativity. Uh, Tay PK caught a little bit of that in, in uh, his duel. He took a VT right up close range against Max's traps and got smashed with that. Uh, you know, the, the first duel got smashed with that infinity out. Max was nice enough, kind enough to switch off of it because uh, 
Uh, Tay PK it just didn't have the resistances to compete with it. And, and it's naturally a bad matchup for a Din anyway. Yeah, very cool build, man. I love it. I mean, if you think about it, that's practically, like, just as good. If you have all of that stuff going off, lower res, conviction, and the minus to enemy light res, that's practically like a cold sword. I mean, probably just about as much damage. Almost, you know, pretty close uh, to as much negative res as a cold sword gives out. That's that's just insane. Now, granted, you can stack up as much light res in the DFC as you want currently. Uh, so, theoretically, Toshank could overstack, but it's really hard to do that on a dual claw sin. It, it's like so much. That's that's very creative. Yeah, now Toshank playing from the outside, not, e not even going up to it. Hey, he's saying, look, I'm just going to trap you in. You're going to have nowhere to go. Toshank just playing around this strategy very well. And getting some damage in there, too. Not really taking much himself. Like, holy. Toshank just plays on a different level, man. Look at this. Dancing around these traps, dodging any hits like it's nothing. Like, uh, I say that, and he, and he gets clapped there. But at the same time, every other exchange, it's like these traps are moving in slow motion. Oh, my God. Big hits from Max. Love that Toshank is doing the kicks here, too. Ooh, Max almost had it there. Almost had it with those vicious traps. Toshank backing off a little bit, saying, okay, I've aggressed. It's not quite working. I'm going to try to figure something else out. Approach this from a different angle. Oh, gets caught in these nasty traps. Max now trying to push the pressure. Max very, very badly damaged from that last exchange, though. Toshank caught up. I think that might have been from the traps that uh, I think Toshank sets a load of traps up ahead of him and walked below them. And I believe Max walked into him and that's what caused the damage. Just just casually sitting back, walking down with a five stack sitting there. Smart. Very interesting. Both these guys, respect for the damage of the other. Both of them also very low, needing to be opportunistic. Max Happy sitting in a very wide, you can, I don't know if you can call it a five stack at this point. He's got a very wide spread of traps and he's trying to cover any angle that Toshank could, could approach him from. And Toshank's answer to that is to approach, to approach from all angles and be faster than the traps. That's what he's done so far. That's what he did last round and it worked very well for him. Definitely conserving his mana. Trying to set up and go for the long run here, but he might have paid for it right there. He might have paid for it. He was low before, and he probably just took three or four beams of traps. He may be Mind Blast PK. It's hard to tell. But Toshank going to just walk up to him. Going to look for him. Going to approach, conserve his mana. I like this. The methodical approach, the slow stalking of the assassin, looking for his opponent. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It, it really, it makes it interesting. It turns it into kind of like a walk duel. Uh, like, I kind of like it. I would almost rather watch that than like... Vicious teleporting, five stack trapping across the map at like all, you know, at any life total. This is, to me, this is more enjoyable. I don't know about you guys. It still could turn into these long range duels that you typically see with Sin v Sin. But it's like you understand it. You know what I mean? Like you can see what's going on. Oh, for sure. It, it, it always has been, Darius. It always has been. Uh, the Sin v. Sin is never a short matchup. Never a short duel. Oh my god. 
one. Toshank trying to approach. Saving saving his last mana pot here for likely an exchange that Max will that Max will engage. Just waiting. He says, "All right, come get me. Come get me. I got I got no mana. This is your shot." Both of them trading a little bit of damage there. Toshank getting some damage with uh, with Mind Blast, but Max just isn't quite low enough to finish with that. And there it is. Toshank gets there. Gets around the defenses of Max, saving his last mana pot for a final push of aggression to finish it. <laughs> that was sick. Tight win, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Max says he was on his last pot, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it. I like it. It makes the duel a lot different. I mean, it's going to be long no matter what. It just makes the duel a lot different. It slows it down a bit. Uh, you know, slows it down a bit, makes it a little bit more methodical. Makes it more suspenseful. Yeah, it's a relatively new thing. Well, I say relatively, but like, I mean, 2010 is still 13 years ago at this point, but yeah. Yeah, I think in D2R, especially the call with the mana pools was, it seems to at least have solved a lot of the things. That's why I'm closely paying attention to this. I think this is the first Sin v. Sin match we've seen with no pools. I'm so happy to see it. Uh, I'm taking notes as much as I'm, you know, it, it seems it's certainly different. It's certainly a different pace of a duel, but it's very interesting taking mental notes on it man uh because there was a lot of questions with it there was a lot of a lot of questions when we got rid of the mana pools like what is this going to look like this is going to kill certain builds this is gonna i mean yeah it's certainly going to nerf certain builds and that's the point it's going to nerf certain strategies inherently yeah yeah i agree demon i agree so far like even if a, like if a sin is walking around you know what i mean like what toshank is doing even even Max, they're walking a lot more. It makes them vulnerable when they walk because they don't always have claw block up, right? But it's also easier to follow. Like, even if nothing's going on, it's it's just easier to follow. It's not as much of a brain fuck. Like, just looking around and having no idea what's going on, seeing CT casting five stack traps and teleporting all around. Instead, it's just like, okay, you understand everything. This guy's running low on mana. He's trying to conserve. And you understand why he's methodically setting up traps in a certain direction. Like, it makes way more sense. So much easier to follow. No shit, Odin. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely existed. Uh, but I think uh, DFC being the competition that it was, you know, a lot of GM duels allowed it. So we just inherently allowed it. It did make a lot of sense. But uh, in just about every miserable duel, not 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 all of them. But just about every single miserable duel that we ever watched, it was because it, it, it had endless mana at the at the heart of it, right? Like it wasn't the cause. Probably the playstyle was, you know, the approach, the necessity of a certain playstyle probably made that more of a thing, right? But uh, but to some degree, the endless mana was was certainly a problem like it just enabled that sort of thing and you know what if you push the aggression you can't finish I am if you you know if you piss through all your mana and you haven't significantly damaged your opponent you deserve to lose i think like you're, you're spamming at that point right like look at how toshank does this dude budgets it both these guys budget in their mana right down to the last pot and both opponents were very low like both players very low it's just methodical. Everything they do, they, it's fast-paced, but it's methodical. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. I think so, too. I can't carry and, and honestly, like... Uh, 
ever since that, I had considered we 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 had we had thought about uh, giving Necros back some tools, right? Like giving them back max block and nerfing them way less because Necros, I think, with the absence of the mana pools, like that might have been what was wrong the entire time. Like as shitty as it is, that might have been what was wrong the entire time. Uh, I, I just think that there's, you know, there's other communities such as like D2A and stuff, and they, they do respect like that old school crowd, and I do too. I, lo I love those guys, love what they do, what they've done, but D2R is just a different game. Like D2R is certainly a different game. It's no longer LOD. There's a lot of things that have changed about it, and uh, I think it's time. I think it's time to try something a little different, especially when you have a lot of people watching these duels. Especially when you have people that might not have dueled before looking into dueling like it's something that they would want to do. Damn, yeah, Toshank asking if he put on more LR because he just, he caught like a couple of traps there and got half-life. It's just the rolls, dude. Sometimes traps roll astronomically high, sometimes they don't. Like, it's, it's just weird. Toshank conserving from the get-go here, getting a nice name lock, chaining Max. Pays for it a little bit, but not too much. Took a total of about 200 damage there from all of those exchanges and probably put more damage on Max. Certainly well worth it. Being extremely smart, conserving right from the get-go, knowing that there will be opportunities to take on Max. Oh, gets hit by another, uh, another trap there. That was a heavy hitter. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Necros in DFC since that. I think Elite stopped dueling after that. Which, like, it hurts a little bit. I love the guy. I love seeing him duel. He's one of the most talented duelers I've ever seen. But, honestly, what I say is if that was the kicker for you, then, like, I think it says a lot for the, about the Necro, right? Like, that's the power of the Necro, is being able to spam. And, and in my experience, the best players on a Necro, Elite included, ironically, Elite included, the best players on a Necro are ones that can aim Bone Spears. It's not necessarily about spamming Bone Spirit. It's about aiming Bone Spears. Those are the most deadly Necros, the most powerful Necros. They cost half as much as a Bone Spirit. Oh, no doubt, yeah. I think that's what a lot of people do. It's certainly what I do as a noob on a Necro. I just set up a spirit train and I teleport into it. That's it. Like, yeah, game's easy, right? Bam, spirit train, teleport into it. You kill like 90% of the people you go up against that way. The other 10%, you actually have to be good. Oh yeah, super epic. It, it would probably feel like uh, VT's feel when they actually kill somebody. You know what I mean? It would probably feel like a VT feels. It's a gratifying kill. Because you know, you you engaged in resource management, you budgeted your you budgeted your shots, you took your time, like you were accurate, you were methodical with what you were doing. I think it feels even better. Yeah, but we've considered that giving giving Necros back their tools. Potentially giving them back Clay Gall. I'm not sure about that one though. That that one was a big hit to the Necro, and I think it was a necessary hit to the Necro. It just allowed them to cheese certain builds that they already had an advantage on, that were already disadvantaged in PvP anyway. And Necro was the power most powerful class at the time. But I think at this point, Necro is in a good spot, possibly even approaching mediocre spot. Yeah. Toshank in a lot of trouble. Max is gonna have to push to finish. I don't think I don't think Toshank is gonna take a big risk here. I, I think he's gonna say, "Come get me." Your turn. Nice setup from Toshank there. The thing is, Toshank was actually very aggressive, set up some nice traps and pushed the pressure very good early on. But unfortunately, the rolls on his traps in that exchange weren't very high. So, like, I, I don't think it damaged Max significantly early on.
Now, this is the nature of a sin duel right here. This is uh, this is the nature of it. It's a very long range duel when you have both players very familiar with what's called CT casting. That's You notice Toshank opening up his character screen and his skill tab uh, every once in a while. That's to give himself leverage on casting traps far further than most people can. Just by opening up a tab, dragging your cursor past that, and letting the spell go. Like, it just it shifts your character to the side, gives you way more range on your spell casting. And there it is, man. Max gets his first win, turning it into 2-1, I believe. Insane. Insane back and forth. Got lucky rolls at the start. Yeah, yeah. It looks like, I mean, Toshank probably hit Max a number of times there, and Max is still at 80, 75, 80%. R in Jesus we trust. Yeah, 100 percent dude. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. What a good duel so far, man. Fun to watch. It's methodical. It's certainly a lot different. It's a uh, different pace. Yeah, exactly. Even in uh, even in LOD back in the day when we would see TVTs or even NVTs, you know what charms they would use? The real rich people back in LOD would use B mana charms in that matchup. They would build their character around it. Yeah, uh, and that was granted they had mana pools in the GM duels back then. But if you were just in a pub or something like that, you might switch out to your B mana charms because. You know that that duel is going to go long. You know that your mana is going to be an issue and that you have to budget it. You have to prepare for it. So, yeah, I, I think that such a rule, such as, you know, this uh, no mana pools being in effect just forces you to think like that. Uh, you know, we've already seen Polytheist putting uh, life mana charms in his inventory. Me, I put life mana charms in the inventory. I think you'll see Sins and Necros do it, too. Even Druids. Uh, Druids, not so much. They're not as mana intensive of a character. But when duels go long, it can certainly be that way. Well, Aussie rings, you got to remember, didn't last long. Aussie rings were, like, they lasted maybe a year. Six months to a year, maybe, I think. They didn't last long. But B-Manas are still around. B-Manas still exist. All right, Max just got hit big there. I say that, but I guess it was low rolls again. We heard him get hit a couple of times by traps. In RNG, Jesus, we trust. This is a duel at range. Both these guys, CT casting trying to set stacks up of, of traps. And ideally, I was talking with Dazer about uh, really good sin dueling strategies. And one extremely good strategy when you have two sins dueling is to try to, to try to CT cast traps in their traps so they get confused. They have no idea what's going on. They have no idea whose traps are whose. Nice setup there from Toshank. Max got some damage in there as well. CT casting the Fire Blast. I like that. An interesting switch. Max, realizing that Toshank didn't have any, uh, likely didn't have any traps on that side, chooses to aggress from that side. Very interesting. That's what I mean, man. Uh, Max is a, a different kind of player, man. He He's always trying to tell me how to look for this when I go up against a sin, and I still haven't figured it out. But he is an absolute pro at it. And that's realizing where the sin's traps are, and more importantly, where they're not, right? Like, where the angle is to approach your opponent from. Uh, Max is really good at realizing that. It's certainly a skill that I think you only develop when you play a sin enough, and I fucking hate sins. I, I, I never play them. So, I'm okay not knowing. I guess I'm okay not knowing.
Hey, thanks, Mosquito. I appreciate that, man. Uh, I had a bug that 1080 defense Nigma Mage played back in the day and accidentally traded it for four fire facets. No, bugged like a, like a hybrid rune word. Those were sick. I still have, uh, I think I still have five or six Enigma pieces on uh, on LOD. Keeping my accounts active, dude. I got a, I got a bugged tiles. I got uh, like 10 B manas. A number of hybrid rune words. Yeah, they're cool, man. There was like Enigma of Bone, uh, Enigma of Peace, Enigma of something else. There was a lot of different variations of Enigma. Max still going with the Plague on the main hand there. He did get off a lower res against Toshank, but the Fade just makes sure it doesn't last that long. That curse doesn't last that long with Fade Up. And Max is in a lot of trouble here. Max is very low. I want to say Max is probably at 15 or 20 percent. Uh, maybe, maybe closer to 35, 40. Back and forth, man. The funny thing is, these are long duels, right? Like these, these are always going to be long duels, sin v sin. All I can say is you should see him with mana pools. They're endless. They go on for days. I think Toshank was actually telling me at one point, he went sin v sin against somebody and it fucking lasted like 20 hours or something. Like the entire duel lasted 20 hours. They, they might have done like an FT5 or something, but it was a stupidly long duel. Can you CT cast Mind Blast? You can, you can, but uh, Mind Blast works better if you have a target to lock onto because it's constant damage, constant stun attempts. Just like that. Just like that, that little name lock that Toshank had right there. That's perfect for Mind Blast. He had that Mind Blast lock he was hanging on to. A little bit of pixelation. Don't worry guys, this is on my end, not yours. Screen all, all pixelated. <laughs> Toshank taking his time, budgeting his mana. Mana running low here, but Toshank in a, I think a little bit better of a spot health-wise than, than Max, but not much. Now he's, now he's a little better. He landed some good shots on Max there. Now I'm unsure if Toshank's traps are still active that he said they are. They are still active. And that is, that is prime. I'm actually so happy to see that because uh, you very rarely ever recognize the length or the the distance at which a sin can travel away from her traps. And Toshank is showing it off beautifully here. Like, I I actually, I'm so glad that this duel is a little bit slower paced now, because you can actually see the range of these traps. You see what Toshank did there? He, he CT casted his traps and then walked a very decent distance away from them. I would have thought those traps would despawn. They didn't. They did not. He, he was managing his, his range perfectly there. And the reason he was walking away from them is because he wants Max to follow him. He wants Max to follow him and to think that there's no traps, that there's no threat. Big hits from Toshank and he finishes. There it is, baby, 3-1. Good day. Yeah, yeah, it's very methodical. I mean, even... In any sense, sin matches always go like this. They're a, they're a long distance duel with a lot of tricky things, dude. You never really notice how intricate the details of PvP are until you are comfortable in a sin v sin match. Because then you realize little things like this, little things that we're picking up on now, like the distance at which you can cast traps and walk away from them. I thought it was a lot shorter than that. I had no idea. But because Toshank knows that, he probably got some damage in there against Max. <laughs>
It was just a little sneaky thing, making Max chase him way up on the other side of the map, not knowing that there was traps very, very close to Max. Even from halfway across the screen, Max, he, he probably couldn't even see Toshank on his screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Doom. It's, that's sins, man. That's sins. The CT cast in nasty, nasty range. Look at this, man. Showing off the... Oh, look at this. Uh, plus five Shadow Master, plus four Mind Blast, plus four Lightning Century Claw. That's beautiful. What a beautiful claw. Two open socket. Sick offhand. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's certainly still going to be a, a long duel. But it's, in my opinion, so much better to watch. Like, I, I, I'm learning something this duel. I'm actually learning something with a, with a slower pace. That's rare. It's rare. Nice inventory from Toshank, too. Look at this. He's, he's even got those, it, just like we were talking about. I said I bet we would see Sins doing this. Toshank certainly doing that. He has 2017s in his inventory to boost up his mana. He's got almost 1,000 mana on this Sin, which is, it's, that's a pretty comfortable amount. I like that, man. I, I really like that. Tactics. Dibs on that char name. Well, luckily in D2R, anybody can have the same char name. So, uh, so he, he dibs away, man. Dibs away. Yeah, it's very generous, mana. Huge. I, uh, on the den that I had set up, I... I I was trying to manage the mana. I actually even considered putting on an SOJ for my matchup versus Joby. Uh, so that in the event that he ran out of mana, I could aggress him a lot better. Um, but that's what it comes down to, man. I had I, I stacked up some uh, some life mana charms on there as well. Just something you got to think about. But even, even focusing on it like that, I think I still had just under 700. So this is a very healthy mana total for Toshank here. I think probably Max making some adjustments in his stash here. Gonna try something different this round. I bet he is. I'd be surprised if he didn't. Let's pop over, see if we can catch a little catch a little glimpse. Oh, he's not streaming. He's not streaming, or we could catch a glimpse. See what what sort of secrets, what sort of what sort of tricks Max is up to. He doesn't want anybody to know. Dirty pops in to say easy. Just letting Dirty just letting both people know they're easy. Just just letting them know. Just popping in. Saying what's up, fools. All easy both of you. Just wanted to let you know. A good guy. Dirty, the DFC champ. Dirty earned that DFC belt on a win against Toshank. Very worthy opponent. Dirty says champ is here. Make sure that when you leave, you gotta say champ out. Uh, very uh, th when Toshank was the reigning defending DFC champ, that was his signature line. It, he would randomly pop. I fucking loved it. It was like a, it was like a Conor McGregor in the DFC. He would he would pop in. He would pop into people's games, say something, uh, usually off the wall, and then say champ out, and then leave. Before anybody had a chance to say anything, it was great. It was great. Toshank, one of my favorite duelers, one of my favorite people. <laughs> this guy is awesome. <laughs> Funny dude, man. Funny dude. Yeah, yeah, good guy. Lucky Cooley Dairy Queen to Meyer. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just the cheese, it was the full Dairy Queen lactose intolerant assault. This I'd have it no other way. I'd have it no other way. Oh, I see what you mean. Dairy Queen, DQ'd. Oh yeah. I could read it. I could read the situation. I knew my boy Toshank wasn't... He wasn't trying to lose his title. It was a different arena. It was certain circumstances. 
I think he was he he didn't want to like he didn't want to go out that way. I was just I was just helping him. I was just helping him. I, I saw it. I saw what was going on. There's there's no hard feelings, there's no nothing. It's it's almost like uh it's almost like I say this all the time. I don't think there's anything wrong with people scooping their cards, so to speak, in PvP. And just when something goes wrong, if they if they're not liking the duel, to just quit. Like and just give it to the other opponent. Like give it to their opponent. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like some people shun on it, you know, they shun it or whatnot. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's like uh, if you've ever played Magic the Gathering, games rarely actually get finished. Like someone just scoops their cards when they notice the game's over. It, it should be no different, I don't think, in like PvP based games. Especially where duels like this where they go on forever. Like they go on for a long time. Oh shit, oh shit. Coolio dropping that heat. Yeah, yeah, Joby just running off screen lates and took the title of top din. Just lates and Oh now Toshank is LR dude. Lower res. He just like we just got a peek at his his resistance. I was looking for lightning, I didn't see it, but it looks like it might be it's certainly low, but I can't tell if it's I'm gonna try to next time he brings up C, I'm gonna look. I'm look, I'm looking right in the right spot. You can't blink. Oh my god, dude. He gets lower rest again and smacked. Holy shit. Yeah, he says that hurt. He says that hurt. By the way, we gotta get we gotta get this notification pop up. Did I miss it? Is it late? Is the spaceship late? There it is. DFC 63, baby. You're damn straight, Abel. Hey, thanks so much, man. DFC 63, baby, and cheers to that. Thanks for the five spot, brother. Big cheers, man. We've had some good duels tonight. It was a little slow getting started. But we've had some good duels. We're seeing uh, two absolute sin legends go up against each other on a sin with no mana pools right now. It's currently 3-1 in favor of Toshank. With, uh, in this round here, round number five, Max making a significant comeback, at least in the early round, damaging Toshank early on with, uh, he has Plague Claw. And what happened was Toshank pushed the pressure, got in, and he got hit. Uh, he hit Max. Max procced lower res, and that hurt, dude. He got hit with maybe one or two trap beams, and boom, more than half life to him. It was insane. Yeah, but it's not on Blizz, so it's okay, right? So much hate. So much Blizz hate. Happy 420. Happy 420, boys. You're damn straight. Abel, thanks so much for the 10 spot, man. All right, I'm going to take a puff to that. I'm going to take a puff to that, brother. Happy 420, my dude. Puff and a cheers. Dude, thank you so much, man. That means a lot. Toshank in a lot of trouble. Toshank just above 400 life right now. He's now going to be patient. He's now he's now saying, all right, Max, your turn. Your turn. Come get me. Walking on the outside, trying to lure Max into this five stack. Max being patient. This is a duel of patience right here. As Bowie once said, and I, I took it with a grain of salt when I heard it from Bowie, but I've seen it time and time again prove itself to be true. And this is what he told me. He said, sin duels often come down to the aggressor. He who aggresses usually loses. He was correct. Toshank in a lot of trouble. Toshank going to try to lure Max. Max is actually very low, too. Oh, I would agree. And I think that's something new to D2R. It never used to have that crisp lightsaber sound when you cast those traps. It does now, man. I mean, it sounded similar, but it just, it's just, just something about it, man. I noticed it as soon as D2R launched. It's a crisp lightsaber sound, dude. That's 40 rep, bro. That's, that's, that's 40 rep. Uh, four life a second is 40 rep.
Yeah, it was really good. A lot of pixelation going on here. Don't worry about it. Right now we've got uh, we've got Toshank just kicking around in the outfield here. He he's trying to essentially gain life back so that he's not mind blast PK, and he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job trying to lure Max into these into these traps. There was a there was a window of time there Max could have mind blast PK'd him. I don't think Max is on that plan. I don't think Max is on that plan. It's, and you especially don't want to try to turn the corner and get on that plan sometimes, uh, especially in Cindy Sand. I wonder what Max tried differently this duel. Oh, nice traps there set by Toshank. Now you gotta remember, Max is also low. Max is probably at about 10, 15% right now. Toshank cresting back on 10% now, just back above 10% life from literally one. Literally 1% back to 10. Tis a duel of the distance. Who's going to cave first? Who's going to make the first mistake here? Oh, big hits for Toshank. That was a very good exchange for Toshank. He, he lost very little life there, and uh, he landed some traps on Max. Now, granted, they weren't high enough rolls to finish Max, but they certainly don't feel good when you're at that low of a life total. <coughs> this is tense, man. If Toshank gets this round, he wins. Yeah, he weapon blocked him for sure, dude. Weapon block's so broken, man. It's such an insane skill. You can literally block just about any skill in the game. It's crazy. It's crazy. I wish I wish regular block just worked like that. It's someone throws a NATO at you. I guess you can technically block a NATO. Someone throws a hammer at you, you just boom. I, I think that's how it should be. I think hammers should pierce all targets on every frame. And that you should be able to block them. Toshank, he look good here. Nice exchange from both players. I think Max got the better of that. Now Toshank in a lot of trouble, still conserving his last mana pot here for hopefully what would be a, a opportunistic exchange. Both players kicking back. Toshank doing the Toshank, doing the doing the RTF. Come get me. Toshank uh, credited with one of the most hilarious RTF attempts or really successes in all of Diablo history, in my opinion. This guy was in a pride match against somebody he didn't like. The dude lets his battle orders run out. He's at very low health. Lets his battle orders run out, goes to a far corner of the Blood Moor, and drops all of his lifer charms on the ground so that he can lower his life total as low as possible and rep life back to full as fast as possible. He pulled it off and fucking beat this guy. It was one of the most savage things I had ever seen at the time. I had never heard of such junk fuckery and it changed my Diablo experience forever. I loved it. Terran versus Terran battle cruiser. Uh, yeah, yeah. And there it is, he got there! Off screen, bros! Off screen, that's how to do it! We Thank were just you. talking about that. It's managing that trap distance, dude. He's tricking Max into thinking he's safe, thinking he's approaching, but really, Toshank is a master at, at reading and utilizing his trap distance. He was off screen. You couldn't even see him on the map. That's insane. These guys talking about the uh, no pools versus pools. Yeah, he says just net can NVT. Very interesting, man. Back and forth duels. Holy hell. That was cool. I got to say that was a very long match to watch as any Sin v Sin match is. What do you guys think? I actually found that pretty enjoyable. I learned things. I learned a 
literally just watching Toshank play, I could finally see how far he could cast traps. I never knew that. I never knew it was that far away. All I knew is that I got smashed by 230's traps from way off screen and had no fucking idea what was going on. But now I have a bit better of an understanding. It was more methodical, easier to follow in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. This is dueling how I remember it, yeah. Yeah, GG, man. I, I really liked this. This was a cool match. Very cool match, man. What do we got? Anybody else? Anybody else trying to pop in and duel here? Anybody else willing to do their matchup? We're hitting them, we're hitting them strong now. We're getting in a stride here. We've, we've had some good... We've had some really good duels. By the way, uh, technically Max lost, so we could give him a second chance versus Silly. By the way, I'm actually just going to pencil that in. Silly, I'm, I know you've, you've been waiting patiently, brother. I'm not sure if you're still around, but I'm actually just going to pencil that in. Uh, Max dueling a lot tonight, but hey, I think he deserves it, dude. I think he deserves it. I'm just going to throw that in there. Uh, I believe Silly is on a barb, but he can be on sin. So what I'll do is I'm going to I'm going to do this. Barb or Sin v. Sin. Whatever he would like. Whatever he would like. We're just going to do it like that. GG. Toshank, thanks for sharing that, man. And thanks for dueling. It's always a it's always a, a learning experience to watch this guy duel. It's always very entertaining. Love this guy. I think he's a, a great dude. Great dueler. The type of dude where you're, you're always going to learn something uh, watching this guy or be extremely entertained. Insane, dude. Hey, thanks so much for that, brother. Thanks so much for that. Yeah, like I said, not sure if uh, not sure if Silly's still around, but we're gonna pencil that in. I'll tag I'll tag you guys in the Discord too. Uh, we'll put it in the chat. Uh, let's see. At lol Silly and NYC Max. Sorry for the delay, silly. Thanks for the patience. Feel free to duel Max on Sin or Barb whenever. Doesn't have to be tonight. Thanks for being ready. Good dude. I appreciate that. I appreciate that when people show up and just duel for us, man. We don't have a DFC event without people dueling, getting their matches in. Uh, and just letting us letting us see the absolute aggression, the absolute craziness that some people come up with. Like Max and his absolutely nutty builds that he comes up with. His Sunder Sin builds. God, it's sick to watch. Yeah, it was fun duels. He baited Fire Blast well, uh, so it was hard to Fire Blast him. No shit. Was on LSFB spec. Interesting. GG, man. Sick. Sick, sick. Fellas, nice job tonight. Dio, hell of a win. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Joby, congratulations on topped in status. There might be a technicality now where I'm still topped in because I had a win against against Polytheus, but we'll call it we'll call Joby the topped in. We'll get it all figured out. We were dueling for topped in status, but the calculator may still recognize me as topped in. It's, but we all know, we all know Joby took it fair and square and definitely deserves it. I will say that my record is very tarnished by losses. Joby's is clean, man. Absolutely clean. Yeah, yeah. Toshang is an absolute pro on that, man. I was, I was an honor to watch you guys fight, man. Two absolute legends and goats, in my opinion, between Max and Toshank. An honor to watch you guys duel. Yeah. Very fun duel. Well, all right, boys. We'll make sure. Be in the Discord. There'll probably be some other duels going on at some point, I would imagine. This weekend. And usually people will jump into the join the stream. Or not join the stream, but the Cooley voice. And share their perspectives. And it's always fun to kind of see that. So be on the lookout for it. Thank you to everybody that showed up. And, uh, and dueled today means a lot. If I forgot to give you a second chance and you lost, that's what we're doing for anybody that duels on stream. So just reach out to me or tag me or tag one of the mods. 
have them get a hold of me. Shoot me a message on Discord, and we'll get you set up with something. Uh, I think it's a good way to reward the people that uh, that duel on stream and give us an event to watch, man. It means a lot. Uh, thanks for spending you guys' Thursday night with me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you very soon. Take care of yourselves. Don't drink too much of this, okay? Don't smoke too much today on the 420. Just take it easy. It's the end of the day, right? Just take it easy. Just chill for a bit. Boys, thanks again. I appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon.